Fart noise. Kaboom. You know you can do the fart noise already, dude. Fart noise. Burp. Kaboom. You know you record it. Burp. Pro constitution. <laughs> no ideas. For some reason, I thought Not you said bad. pro constitution. <laughs> Just fart pro constitution? Like the founding pro. farters writing the constitution. Yeah, you'd be very pro constitution. Yes, I am constitutionally so. Why aren't you that pro? Do not! You yeah, call prolapse. What, what are you prolapse. Prolapse. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's only one thing to prolapse. Okay. Um, we'll get started here in just Stop. a second. No! He's a CF CFS member. He's a member of the CSA. Kill him. Uh, where did we leave off on? We made the uh, carriage. Wait, what? The carriage. Um, chasing the uh, horse. Does he have really that much? He's a right stallion, you know? Like, we need another, like, execution thing, bro. Not uh, that what? Kill us, no. But, like, no. Big Alright, let's get started. Do not listen to anything Drake says, you know? Drake, you you're really cool. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Alright, everyone jump into roll 20. Let's get this session started. Get that dosh. Also, uh, just to make sure, everyone's, like, documenting what they have in their inventories in Roll20, right? Oh, Roll20? No, I, I have it I in have a, a, uh, a notepad, notepad document. On my desk. Yeah. Okay. Anything, so. so, you can go to your character sheet, right, in Roll20, just so that I can see what you guys have, because sometimes I forget who has what. What if I go to his girlfriend's in it? <laughs> that's, that's a lie, Dana. We know that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Got him. Kaboom. What is a man? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what, the what the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> did he say kaboom or kaboom? It's kaboom, and for a reason. That's why it's called a reed. When did you get here, Jenna? That's the zombie one, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was boing. I thought it was going to be something else. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> Dude, at this one. Or he, it's, it's your, it's your, you do? You go for it. It's your combo, right? Are these like roll 20 sound boards? Or are these just regular sound boards? Hey, I think roll 20 sound boards. Are you just, you these roll 20 sound boards? <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, what can I say? All right, hand it over. I was trying to get to add it to my inventory so you'd find it one day, but. Oh, wait, you can look and see what the notes were? Uh, so you can go to your character sheet. Okay. Um, you click on your character sheet. You can, uh, uh, is it in bio? Is that what uh, you yeah, to yeah. You can just toss it into bio. Yeah, <laughs> treasure. Okay. You can just toss anything that you have in that treasure pile. Here, let me share my screen. Wait, how okay. much money did me and Dennis draw off this week? Doesn't really matter. You lost it all. Uh, yeah. You, you don't get any. Just remember, you were in jail and you took it all. The only money we have is my one gold coin. Alright. Fuck. Can people... Remember I arm wrestled... Well, I thought we don't have uh, gold pieces. We have, like, silver and pennies. Or copper. I'm the only one with Dosh. You're all broke. Yeah, I know that part. You're the only one with gold. I see what you see. I can do it. I say we kill all the gold. Um... Yeah, I can people just 
jump into the stream real quick so I can show Pussy. you. How far you go with that trick? Let's just jump right into it. Let's just jump right in. Are you streaming something? This is Valerie's character sheet, but... Uh, so you go to uh, your normal character sheet. You can go to the bio. Wow, tab, look at that lack of strength. Dump, Pussy! Uh, all your stuff in the treasures thing. And it's just like a text file. So it's oh, pretty I've easy been to dumping edit. it. And there's like, if you go to the bottom, like the main one, there's like an inventory. And I've just been dumping it all in there. Yeah, this equipment. Yeah, I've just. Yeah, you can, do, you can do that. Or you can do. Yeah, I do them there. Uh, the bio sheet. Um, whatever's easier. I, I feel like this is a lot easier to write than trying to. Add everything into your equipment tab. But yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask. Do I still have my gr good Grick skin in the trunks of Grick beak? No, you just have your uh, uh, cloak. I don't. I don't. I, don't wait, wait, so I, got the I got the werewolf pelt back then. I got my fourteen. Yeah, you got the werewolf pelt back. They took my Grick shit, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. It was uh, Panerophilia. Man, this is some bullshit. Is I should have sold it. Paraphernalia. Penisphilia? No. <laughs> Mesophilioma? If you were a loved one, what? you submit to my cum. I. All right, we got everybody in. All I right. Cast dick. You cast I, dick. Cast flap flap. <laughs> <laughs> roll for how much a wrecked you are. Hold on a second, hold on a second. What, 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 what am I rolling, Ethan? <laughs> I roll a d20, uh, plus your strength modifier. I am, I, Ethan, I got a plus, like, four, what is it? I got a plus four strength modifier. I am, like, uh, I am, it's so, it's so much so it hurts. My cock does one d12. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, I might as well, or you still blessed my cock last time as well. So I do even more. I got a, I got magic cock. There's no rules that say I can't sprout ghostly claws out of my dick if I use this spell. What's going that to hurt? To What's what? what? What is that supposed to mean? It, I, even if I'm unarmed, I'm armed because I'm packing heat. Um. Okay, uh, real quick, let's just go over uh, schedule-wise. Uh, next week, we'll have another session, as usual. Uh, but the week after that, that is Christmas Eve, so we're not going to do that day. Um, but I was thinking maybe we could do a in-person session uh, sometime during the Christmas week. Uh, wait, you say no to next weekend? Because my house is empty then, if everyone's going. No, 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 no. The 17th is a normal session. We're online and everything. Um, I mean, we could do it in person if you guys want. Cause we only no, because time. I want to go to I'm... work the next day. <laughs> yeah, I'm so down to do in person on Christmas Eve. No, the the <laughs> week of Christmas. So maybe the 28th or 27th, we do an in person oh, session. Oh, so instead yeah. of doing it on Something Christmas like Sunday, cool. we just do it during the week. Yeah, because I, okay. I'm not going to be available during Christmas Eve. <laughs> or, or like, Dog, I don't have, have dice. Have yeah, I have like uh four sets of dice. Does anybody need the pair or like a set? What do you mean do the math? It's I don't want to do the math in person. Just like no, it's no, just no, so no, easy to like. This man, just is, run is, this man is. Oh my! Weak. Yeah, there's, there's no math to do. I don't have a laptop. Treatment are weak. They can't do math. There's not even multiplication in these days. Too math. This this isn't like a fatal. No, you don't need to know algebra. Uh, so what, algebra what works for best the... for you guys? Twenty seventh or twenty eighth? To do an in person uh, session, we'll host it. I do believe uh, that either works. Twenty eighth works for me. Now. Okay. Um. Twenty eighth because I don't feel. Like Alright, yeah, we'll do the we'll do the twenty eighth then. I'd prefer the twenty eighth. I don't think I'm booking that week. Um. I'm going to Where would save doing this? Like right at my place, but gang, gang, it, this house. Um, it might be at someone else's place because I don't have a downstairs There's table yet. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could do that. Bring a folding. Oh, a big folding. Table. I could help bring as well. 
Okay, well, we'll work it out. We'll, we'll get that settled before then. But think about D and D session. We'll start at like noon or something and make it like a whole, whole day. Cool, cool. Why does he have eleven of us in Gation? What the fuck? What is who of what? Alex has rules on eleven investigation. What? Why does he have plus I, eleven? I have, I have uh, the observant Alex. trait, which gives me plus five investigation, plus five um. Your mic is going to what shit. What the fuck was I fast. love that though. I love that sound effect. <laughs> Can you hear me? He took a um a beat that gave I could, under, a, I could barely boost. understand the Can you Holy hear fuck me? Motherfucker is Charlie Brown's parents. Can you switch to like your computer? <laughs> Why don't you go on your computer? You have a computer. You have a headset. I'm, a, I'm aware, but uh, no matter what I do, I'm still gonna have to use this mic because I have um, I have assembly homework due at midnight tonight, so I gotta be working on my laptop anyways. Okay, and it's right. honestly well, easier to just work on one computer instead of two, so I don't have to constantly open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close my laptop. You know? Yep, sounds good. All right, let's get right into it then. And the last and, session. Uh, I can't hear anyone. Sick. <laughs> wow, that's. <laughs> Fortunate. I'll figure that out while I reintroduce what happened last session. Right Skill issue. Uh. Last session, the team being <laughs> yet again pardoned for crimes that they may or may not have committed, um, was entrusted uh, by the Chad Baron of Timbermail to. I gotta stop that. Uh, to once again pursue out into the main objective of uh, assisting the Empire in its troubles with the um, monsters to the north. And they were set, upon, uh, set out along with two new companions who conveniently filled the roles of their two previous companions who were murdered or uh, executed. Clap. Um, one by the name of Corvo and the other by the name of Zram. Damn! <laughs> uh, setting out once again um, uh, onto their perilous journey. Uh, with only few days' supply of rations, they gathered the natural wildlife uh, along their trip and was able to actually get two deer um, for their travels. Wow. Now with Your mom lets you have two deer? Now with, uh, <laughs> oh, I can't. Um, now with a newly assembled wagon that they took an entire day to uh, travel with, they're once again ready to set out uh, for the next day as the night starts to set. Now, yeah. So yeah, we see now our team uh, huddled beside a small patch of land. Uh, uh, out uh, long, uh, off the main side of the road with a now new completed wagon as the sun now starts to set over the horizon. Somewhere. I proclaim we shall call him Wagony. No. What say you all? Let's strap this old man to the top of the this, wagon. This man literally just called All in favor? We could we could call uh, call the wagon wheel wagon maybe you wheel wagon like one of the wheels with this old man. No, wagony. Sir wagon. Wagony, he has to be wagony. Me ranks your wagon. No. With the baby wagon. No. Why are you trying to hump the wagon? That's weird. It is a bit weird. Beard's weird. I think we should just call it me wagon. What should be our next uh, step? Should we? I, yes, I vote with that. No, wagon. no, no, no. Wagon. 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 Wa Wagony. Me and the cock e. here have the most votes. E. <laughs> the wagon it is. 
So your vote is known void. You want to have sex with it. Doesn't count. It's okay. We all have yeah, our yeah. fetishes, but like some of them are less okay. <laughs> you don't know that. Meta kink, meta kink. Meta, meta. <laughs> that's meta, bro. Children to be <laughs> we, we. Okay, let's proceed. Where do we need to go what again? Do we, do? Did we, we need to go to a village or something? Or wagon, like, midday. Uh, you got the, it, the the sun is starting to set now. Like it took you guys the whole day to rebuild Are we in this summer wagon. Right now? Uh, late uh late summer early fall. So we have like two more hours of sun. You guys want keep go or make camp? I think you guys can both play with this one. It's my turn. I also play with my ball. I play with my red ball. <laughs> I got that. For who? <laughs> okay. Is, your oh, is there a reason you're fondling your testicle? <laughs> with your balls. Wait, what? He's playing with your balls. I. He's not playing with my balls. He is not playing with my balls. Dungeon master, he is not playing with my balls. Get him off my balls. I cast bless on my balls. Perhaps we should keep going, you know? What's in the wagon, my ball? <laughs> Two squares. About Two squares, huh? <laughs> Hold on, so... Goblin Trayer, you were pulling the wagon or pushing the wagon? Oh. Only need, only put supply in wagon. Okay, let's put. Do we have supplies? No, this we, wagon didn't uh, have supplies when we, we come across it. Came across it. Meat. You want to use barrel to store meat? Let's let's load the meat up. In the old barrel on the other side, uh, uh, on the side of the. Yeah, road. yeah, let's bring the barrel. You want bring? I I really like that one. That barrel was really Sam, good. What you think, I, Ethan? Yes. Am I able to determine I what put the meat that the I have? <laughs> and but whether or not it'd be able to store meat? Uh, yeah, you uh, walk up to the barrel, and uh, you can see that it's still in a uh, pretty good position. Uh, there's a few cracks along the side, like it's not an airtight seal that you're going to get, uh, but it's in a pretty good condition right now. Am I able to cast mending on it to make it better? Um, can I try? Yeah. Give it a try and roll a d100. Okay. If he rolls a 1, is he just going to destroy the barrel? <laughs> what? <laughs> Again? Wow. Yeah, it did. Del Ethan, this is the third 100 he's rolled. Alex, are you using a script that only rolls Did you just copy-paste the barrel? I wow. I swear to God I'm not. Here, let me Which prove God? it. Which God? Which God? What the, fuck? <laughs> yeah. the, the right goes. elven Whoa. god? Shrapnel goes everywhere, Whoa. killing the entire party. <laughs> yeah, it's hey, I don't know. Interesting. You're only hitting high what? and low. Rolls up acid as well. No fucking way. <laughs> Roll one more. I just want to. Tax. I swear to God, it's just fucking fifty. Okay, so you just rolled a, a hundred on that, and then a one. Okay. Uh, I'm still not setting up. Or, did Alex do the third roll? No, oh, you no. Got, you got an A5. Um. No. So, uh, do we get an extra barrel or something? It just mends it so good. It still has wear and tear on it. Uh, uh just wear, not tear. Why can't you, like, mend the barrel into a hole? Come on, 100, bro. Uh, the crack has been mended all the way up to the top. Is the lid anywhere around the barrel? Uh, it doesn't appear to be. Are there I pointed any... Don. You oh, you got in barrel earlier. Where lid? There was no lid. <laughs> Actually, it's right here. I pull out the lid. <laughs> okay. It's in great condition. All right. All right. <laughs> Roll a D one thousand. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Read. 
because you're pretty Me or Alex? Here. D1 okay. um, thousand? Uh, you do not manifest a lid out of thin air. Alright. Uh, I put skull. I say we can use the oh. deer hide, cover top, tie a rope around. Does he have I, this old man just sitting on the I wanna, with the barrel? I wanna pick up the barrel and put it in the cart. Okay. Uh, there doesn't seem. You don't Is there a stream around us, Ethan? Or C. Is there any broken barrels or broken butts? No. Uh, no. It was just the one barrel off the no, side. No fruit fire, is it? What was that? No fruit fire, is it? No, it does not appear to be any fruit firewood. Uh, let's see what I have. Uh, me still have much uncooked meat. Want to put uncooked meat or cooked meat in barrel? Well, cooked meat in barrel. Should we smoke it? Raw meat tonight. Perhaps if we're staying the night. Good with that. Zram and Zam. What were the new names? The two guys I forgot. Zam and Corvo. Zram and who? <laughs> Corvo. Zam. Zoram! Yes, <laughs> The shadow of <laughs> voice. <laughs> Alec is. <laughs> over time, Jason, and I go back to the accent. <laughs> You're already so well, quiet, no, I can barely understand not, you. The accent's not canon. It's not canon anymore. Meta, meta accent, meta accent. It's not worth it, Jason. Oh no, the ghost of trauma is taking over my head. Okay, I set up a fire. I can't understand a thing he says, but it's taking over. All the things he said. Is, is it Slegne or is it like Slenye? I'm gonna set up the Slegne. fire. Slenye. Sleep back. So you're I setting up a fire? His real name was yeah. something like, like okay. Joe or something. Can I check the inside of the barrel? The t check yeah. The like the uh, condition of it, see if it's like dirty and shit? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it seems a little dirty. Uh, I point at Don. Give me your shirt, me clean barrel. <laughs> Can't you like just purify shirt it? now? You you sure you don't want like a pelt or something? I want to I don't, intimidate check. I don't, I don't, check I don't have anything underneath this. <laughs> intimidate check for his shirt. Yes, you have um, to do a terrifying presence speech check first. Um. Do a yeah. You're trying to persuade. Would it be so, persuasion? Uh, yeah. oh, persuasion's even better for me. Uh, so charisma saving throw. Re... Easy. He's so charismatic. How? I know you're very interested in what I got underneath my body. My my shirt, but not today. Right, Corvo, and I tell him to give me his shirt. Well, he's saying that I'm gonna climb it. I continue making the fire <laughs> sexily. Corvo, give me a shirt. Me neat clean barrel. Monkey. I point, I point towards Zam trying to climb a tree. He doesn't need his shirt. <laughs> Take his. Uh, better oh, idea. Why don't we just? Whoa, whoa. Uh, Minotaur, priest. Uh, why don't we just summon some water? Like a you know how to summon right water, right, priest? Can't the priest purify stuff? Or is that not a thing? How, how would you summon water? Oh. You, you can... <laughs> like, you want me to spit in a bucket or something? Uh, you want me to pee? Just aqua. might be possible to summon a water elemental, but I don't think that any of us uh, have Ethan? expertise mm -hmm. to do that Mm -hmm. Would I would I know about the priestly ability to uh, create water? You've heard it in myths, <laughs> more or less. You don't know by like you know if this is a common thing priests do. You just hear that like oh some good adventurers used to do it. 
Wait, there's, there's a couple of warlock arena. cantrips that do it though. Easy. Uh, your fire. I stopped building the fire. You're fired. The lonely road. I walk okay. <laughs> about fifty steps away from everyone. Uh, uh would I? Would I have? You know what? Fuck it. Um. Ethan, can I go foraging for a large leaf I can use? Preferably a soft one. A leaf. A leaf. So a I can use it leaf. to clean this barrel. A large leaf. Of, um, sternly. Um, yeah. You go fuck off into the forest for looking for a leaf. Uh, roll survival. <laughs> Why did it go so far away for a leaf? There's trees everywhere. <laughs> Well, you're looking for like a specific leaf. Uh, yeah, Valerie uh, takes her stead for the good the leaf, bro. As you just see her, just a good, walk away. Good Kush. Uh, can I look for bird's nests? A bird's nest? Yeah, for eggs. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go for a survival check too. Nice. You and then uh, you see Zram just go fuck off into the woods. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm I still in my tree. Ethan, wait. <laughs> okay. Ethan, Ethan, where is where is Don Ethan. Quixote's pack? Ethan, I'm, I'm basically a hunter as well. Call so me, bro. Keep it on. This coon just gonna go fuck off into the woods. <laughs> yeah. So that's well, we didn't vote on it. We didn't vote against it. So I can't scout for, for to look for useful stuff in the in the woods. Zam. Where are you in a tree, Tanner? Zram. Getting eggs. <laughs> all right, I, I'm just gonna wander off into the woods. Naruto's running through trees. Only go walk. Okay. Yeah, go for a roll for survival. Hey, Mister, my uh, birds. What if I free? <laughs> Your character's still fucked up. Hey, for once, Jake doesn't get a bullshit roll. What do you mean, for once? Why does it still say Minotaur? <laughs> I have no idea. He <laughs> gets stung by a mosquito. <laughs> Fuck if I know. <laughs> you just really like him? him? Maybe the hidden bloodline. Hmm. He's just slowly becoming a Minotaur. We'll, we'll solve that another day. Uh, <laughs> what is uh, Goblin Slayer and um, Grug Rock Eater up to? Does Grug have a shirt on? That's not like a straight mail. Uh, why are you asking about shirts? Me need clean barrel. We, me try use shirt clean barrel. <laughs> That's not going to make it much cleaner. <laughs> how how you clean? How What you propose? <laughs> <laughs> He has a shirt on, but it is, uh, rather dirty. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You recommend Wait, no, piss in barrel? Clean barrel? <laughs> Probably not. How we clean barrel? We boil it. Mm. Problem to have. Hmm, maybe find stream. Even I take the barrel and run in the woods idea. looking for a stream. I could become okay. stream and find uh, the children. Ethan, <laughs> would I be back in time before he runs off? Um, with an 18, you'll probably be gone for about 15 minutes. And this is kind of like everybody okay. just fucking off. So, you all right. oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye on the fire and the wagon. Uh, I go, oh, you, me, fine stream, you smoke meat, and I, I leave the deer meat, like, at his feet with, like, it's still wrapped in the deer skin. It, it just, you just put it down, and it goes, it's a nice, <sighs> All right, very nice. meaty sound. <laughs> I run this way into the woods to look for a deer stream. <laughs> Everyone fucks off into the woods in all different the, directions. <laughs> and the drug who's just... my hand. <laughs> well, we didn't vote against it. Imagine the sense of I say I, I am the hearthkeeper in the woods. <laughs> do, I, do I need to roll anything, Ethan? 
Uh, yeah, roll for a survival check. Okay, I look hard All right. the woods, Ethan. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, we'll, we'll get you in a minute. He falls into, like, a pitfall trap or something. And, and you have the barrel with you, too. Oh, it, it's above my head. I'm running, I'm running straight into the barrel. I'm going nuts. Um, Valerie, uh, I'll start with you. With an 18, with some good uh, tracking skills uh, through the forest, uh, you're able to find a handful of, like, decently sized leaves, probably about the size of, like, your two hands uh, put together. And you Perfect. can uh, take a few of those off of a, a tree. Um, cool. Um, Roll another right survival after check. I find... Sure. Uh, oh, you know what? No, no, no. This will be just rolled into your 18. Yeah, you're able to find your way back easily. Okay, I was gonna say. Was it okay to leave? I am observing. <laughs> uh, and it takes you about 15 minutes or so to uh, go find some leaves and come back. Um, oh, yeah. who's back? Who's still at the fire when I'm back? I am not back. Uh, I am Zram. We'll we'll get to that. Uh, okay. Zram with a 21. Being the stealthy individual you are and jumping from tree to tree like Hong Kong. Uh, King Kong. <laughs> King Kong. Big Dong. You're able to find. They speak. You're able to find a nest, but unfortunately there are no eggs find inside the nest. Do I reach through the birds? Nope. It doesn't seem like there's any birds in this nest. Said late summer or late. Eight, late so summer, late early fall. fall. <laughs> Roll twenty one and find the fucking nest. There's nothing in it. Uh, Drake. Uh, I stake Torva. it out. You stake it out. I stake it out. All right. Uh, it hour. is now an hour has gone by as you sit in the tree. We'll get back to you. Corvo with a twelve. Uh, what were we trying to find? Sorry. I was just trying to find anything useful. You were just trying to find something useful? Like, anything we could, like, take with us. Like, food, you know. Okay. Um, with a 12, you find a uh, berry bush with blue, uh, with red berries on it. Can I check to see if they have, like, edible berries? Like, do I have um, knowledge of this, or do I, like... You can make a history check. History? No, a uh, survival check. It would be a survival check. Ah, you know that these are poisonous berries. Eat them! These are the uh, red <laughs> dragon berries, as it's known to you. The black, the, the bad dragon berries? How poisonous are the they? The bad dragon berries. <laughs> how poisonous are they? Make these you bad shit your ass. <laughs> these bad dragon berries, how poisonous are they? <laughs> How what? How poisonous are these bad dragon berries? Uh, they make you very Jesus. ill. Jesus. Don't uh, you pocket them? With the shits. <laughs> I pocket them? I cast dysentery. Uh, yeah, I, you can pack, uh, pocket I'll about take two all the berries. You pocket about two handfuls into your bag. Nice. Uh, and mark that on your sheet, too. Uh, do they lose their potency when there? they're not fresh? Like, what, what would be a rough number? Um, twenty bad dragon batter. <laughs> All right, batter, <laughs> give me that bad dragon batter. Uh, no. Is there sand on the ground in this area that we are? And oh. pocket sand. <laughs> I can't pocket oh, oh, any Reed, sand. Uh, your character, as he's walking away, um, uh, falls down. <laughs> No, no, you, you like trip on a rock. Like a hole, uh, or I trip? And uh, as you land, uh, a, a, like across, um, uh, what's it called? Stump? Uh, what's Tree it? branch? Mm -hmm. and I can't think of it. Uh, you, uh, as you like trip over like a bush, we'll go with that. Um, you, you see that there is a small patch of sand. Okay. Uh, it, underneath this bush. <laughs> oh. Quick sand. 
Okay. Uh, I put it in my pocket. I take like three handfuls. He gets the pocket thing. <laughs> Fucking Sphinx there. Some good shit. Uh, Goblin Slayer. With a uh, four. Big. Um, so you've returned, and you've returned after like 20 minutes or so back to the camp. Uh, Goblin Slayer. It's been about an hour. You are lost in the woods. Have I found a stream yet? You have not found a stream. Everything looks so similar around you. You see the same trees, the same bushes. Um, you walk back uh, the way that you come uh, came, and then you accidentally did a loop, and you're back at the way that you started. Can I do a perception check for a stream? Yeah. Perception check for a stream. Go for it. Oh, come on! <laughs> You have no bearing on your situation, and the sun is now starting to set. Is he starting to freak out? Help! Help me! Um, back at camp, uh, there seems to be three people uh, who are... Or, um, Don, are you coming back to camp? Oh, I'm back. I think I picked up okay. uh, Yeah, you've been back. No. So, yeah, everyone... Uh, is back, uh, so these three individuals are back. Uh, Grug, Valerie, and Corvo, as you guys Where's sit by the fire. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, I got Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Um. What up, you? I, there's a couple of things that I kind of want to do. But first things first, with these large leaves, um... Can I try to assemble a little, like, moat that's like a little bowl with the leaf? And then put water into it and hang it over the fire? To boil some water with. Can I make a bowl of leaves? Do you not have an explorer's pack with a water skin in it? I do. I'm trying to boil water. Yeah. What? With, like, sticks and leaves? I don't think they're right. Okay, so th leaves. there's a legitimate survival technique um, where you take a large leaf uh, and put some water inside of it and put it over a fire, and the leaf won't burn uh, because the water absorbs all the heat. Uh, it's thin enough that the, uh, the leaf uh, transfers all of its energy to the water before burning, and so you can boil water without actually burning the leaf. Um... Wait, do, do you just as want as... the water to be clean? Yeah. Sure, I've, I've got purified food and drink. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there we go. This was a good survival tip. <laughs> well, in that case, Ethan, yep. as I prepare to do this, would Preston see my character attempting to boil water? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Grug yeah, sees that you're I, doing I'll, something. I'll ask, what, what, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Boiling water. Wow. You're finding some water. Hey, Boiling I mean, it. That guy happened to have this uh, convenient spell called purify food and drink. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me just, let me just get that for you. Let me just get that for you. <laughs> oh well, I, oh um, well in that case, um. I walk over to where I thought the barrel was. It is now missing. Uh, hmm. And you and you notice Goblin Slayer is not here also. It's just the, the indent where the barrel used to be on the ground. Did we return? To hey, where'd the barrel yeah, go? You see, Goblin, Goblin Slayer took the barrel off to see if he could find a stream to wash it off in. Oh, interesting. Okay. It, it will be good if he finds one. Uh, it would be. Important to have your swords of fresh water. I'm pretty sure they're That'd be nice. To be fair, I feel like that's a little meta considering I just got here after 15 minutes of exploring. Oh. He's been gone for an hour, so like that hasn't happened yet. Oh, I don't know how far time has passed since we've been here. Oh, you guys are back at 20 minutes. I just described what Goblin Slayer was up to. Yeah. Alright, well, in case. Blam! I do my magical wizard <laughs> purify food and drink. With a with a wave of your hand, the water becomes drinkable. Yes. Wow. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, we still have a barrel to clean, but seeing that the barrel's gone, I guess I don't oh, really got anything God. to do. Huh? Well then, the 
fire wait, wait a second. Well, well, hold on a second. Well, where did we get the water? Why does it need to be purified? <laughs> well, it's just the water I was carrying on myself. I, I mean, you know, I was, I was thinking, I, mean, I was thinking we could, cool. I was thinking we could boil the water and then toss it in the barrel uh, to kill anything that's uh, inside of it and clean it out. You know. Well, I mean, because the I don't see here. anything in the barrel. <laughs> I mean, if it was on you, presumably it was clean water. I'd hope. Well, anyways. Uh. You guys want to sit around the campfire and sing a campfire song? Alex, did you piss in your water skin? Am I still in the fucking trees? Yeah, you were. Yeah, it's been about an hour now. Okay, time's passed about an hour now. Like, what character? What color is Ram? <laughs> oh. Well, in that case, uh, considering a considerable uh, amount of time has passed and the Minotaur is still not back with the barrel, um, yeah, it's been about a time that you. Should we? After I told a great tale of how my professor pissed me off uh, and did some bullshit and dropped my grade, I'm mad about it. Uh, meta? Meta story, meta story! <laughs> no, he's a student. Lore wise, nah, and it's canon. Real life. It's canon. Oh, so you're a bad student, canonically. Yep. <laughs> I'm actually dog here. Anyways. We have the same student habits. Valerie's going Receding wrong. Receding hairline. <laughs> also a game ball you know, in your life. <laughs> you know, two of our members have been gone for a. For a second now, oh, haven't they? Aren't there six of us? Shouldn't we? Shouldn't we go look for them? Uh. Well, I I'm mean... gonna get up from the campfire, and um. Ethan, can I improvise a torch so I don't have to expend one, considering how much wood we have? Uh, it takes some time. Uh, That's fine. To ma manufacture a torch that would stay lit longer than. Like five minutes, and yeah, I'd say about about this time the sun is now in its setting stages, so light is starting to recede from the world. Sick. Um, so yeah, it takes you about thirty minutes or so to manufacture a torch with the items laying out. Cool. Okay. Um, it is now about an hour and thirty minutes or so. Uh, Big Mac, After, whopper, 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 uh, whopper, hamburger, cheeseburger, uh, Big Mac, it's whopper, been an hour. cheeseburger, Big Mac, it's whopper, been an hour hamburger, since cheeseburger, uh, Big Mac, no whopper. That's a no bitches, no bitches. So I, I return to the tree to find you again. There you are. <laughs> Ethan, can he fall out of the tree and onto the ground like that scenic eye crawler with Gibby from from the ceiling? Uh, no, he's. <laughs> Get it! Where he He's breaks his tree. ribs. He knows how to swing through trees. There you are, Zan. Find anything good? Empty nests. Women. All, all I found was the next arrows. Uh, do I recognize what berries he's holding? Are you holding the berries? I just said I found berries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just said he, he doesn't have any of these. You don't. You don't see them. Come on, why are you telling us you could, you found berries when we are going to be eating them? Well, I mean, they're not really eating type berries. Just, they have other uses. Who all is missing? <laughs> oh, just, uh... Seems like we're missing two people. Gudabudin Sudeyu. How long has he been gone? Or one person in a hundred years. Uh... Also, what are you up to, Don? Uh, I'm doing like some Mongolian <laughs> throat singing right now. You 50 feet away okay, let me... off like the side of the Okay, room. and D&D. &D. Uh, Don just going at it. You, can you imitate it? I'm just making this sound. Hamburger, <laughs> <laughs> cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger, <laughs> cheeseburger, <laughs> Big Mac Whopper. <laughs> Shall we put it on the vote? The American War or Song. Or just let him continue wandering. Should we just go upon our journey? No, I'm 
Don't you worry about it. You gotta read like you gotta read what we did here. The vanguard has uh, no positive or negative thoughts, so it's best to leave it to the people. They have to like make the plan go. Okay, so is the team Your going? Your mom. Oh, I'm, that's what? what I'm trying to fucking ask. Okay, <laughs> and the other team is my here? is my torch is my torch assembled. Your torch has now been assembled. Well, it's going to be Sick. easy to miss one of them, and you know the, they can always come back to the fire because there's smoke going up. You guys uh, have night vision. Not what? night vision, dark vision. Dark vision, sorry. Different things. Meta. Yeah, didn't they make night vision like really fucking common for some reason? Dark vision. Dark vision. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it's stupid. Vision, right? What? Um. No. So, so how I've been described it, like, say you're in a pitch black room, right? Um, as a normal person, you wouldn't be able to see anything. It's just completely dark. Uh, dark vision kind of like turns the light scale up just a tad. That you can see like gray scaled objects in the room. I thought that how it worked was that dark vision you can see black people. <laughs> <laughs> I see them everywhere, Preston. They're getting God stuff. Damn it. <laughs> Would it be comparable to like an animal like a dog or a cat's kind of eyesight? Um, actual no. like goggles where it's more of low light setting. It's, it's like you can see the pale objects in front of you. You can't really distinguish them. You can see, like, the silhouette of a tree, but it might not be a tree because you can't see the details on it. All I know is I ignore disadvantage on perception checks caused by dim lighting. Wait, you're a human. Where do you get that from? Uh, the, fa er, the what you call it? The air cold <laughs> iron. It's only a dude talking to the dog. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hell Spit it out. That was in my drawer. How'd you get that? The huntsman. The dog eats all your food and money and your all all your loved ones. Uh, and it's very bad. You, you don't get dark vision. Uh, in dim lighting. Yeah, perception. I, I was speaking a different kind of night vision. Ethan, can I get some interpretation on what the fuck this is supposed to mean? Does this mean that um, the object bright light can be also seen from a distance, or um, yeah, it's like a form chosen... of per per yeah, presentation where you can create like simple um, effects. Um, okay, so so the light casting effect is only visible ten feet away. Yeah. So, five foot of bright light, and then five feet of dim light. So, it's not very bright, what? but it will give you some light. Right. Okay. In that case... Actually, that's, um, that's pretty comparable with, um, like, a torch, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, you can do that, that case, instead. Oh, okay. Well, uh, in that case, I'm just going to grab four sticks, and uh, the torch that I just made is the backup. Um, I would have backup. I, I'm gonna give like like nice thick branches, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and then on uh, four Even branches, I will just cast that, and the message oh. will repeat. Uh, camp is uh in the direction that the stick is pointing, on all four of them. Um, at a faint whisper, so it doesn't annoy us. Uh, while we carry it. Uh, and it's I, it's only I, one I... magical property, by the way. Oh, only one at a time. Yeah. So one object can have the brightness, or one object can have the audio. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, in that case, and I'll, you can I'll only have brightness. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll just cast brightness on four objects, and then okay. uh, well then, shall we? I'll hand out uh the magical sticks of brightness, and we shall be on our way. All of us. Well, do you guys have a better idea? Well, he should be able to find his way back by, you know, just, um... What if we scream goblin all the smoke? Bad. You were shit talking about wolves. That would be a good thing. <laughs> I mean, the wolves aren't... You know what? Yeah, on second thought, somebody should definitely watch over the camp, shouldn't they? Uh, yep. Maybe. Excuse me? How about... We set up like some sort of uh, I don't know. We could have like the turrets or whatever, like on the perimeter, just kind of like watching things. Is that like feasible? Or maybe like have like our ranger or friend like pop up in a tree while like, overlooking things. What do you want the ranger watching over the campsite instead of tracking and hunting the guy well, down? I, I mean, like you, you go out and do your thing more so. Like we have we have the basically the two of the engineer here, so like. Uh yeah, I mean. I got a better idea. Why don't I TFC. just uh, put an alarm around the carriage that triggers on anybody? Um, that way, if the camp gets into any danger, uh, they can just step into the carriage, and then I'll know that they're in safety or that they're in danger, you know? How does that sound? I still think you should set turrets. Alarm. Yeah, two sounds good. Okay, Grug, you're big and strong. You could probably defend this shit, right? Yep. You sure stay here. And you, Corvo, I don't really know you. Uh, I'm gonna be real, but you seem like a trustworthy I would, guy. I would be glad you... to stay with Grug here. This man, he's respectable. Okay, and then, um... Under no condition, uh, should you guys step into the carriage until we're back, unless you're in danger, in which case it should tell me that you're in danger, I hope. Uh, and then I'm, I'm gonna walk up to the carriage and cast alarm on just the bounds of the carriage. Just the bounds of the carriage, so this 10 by 10 area. Cool. Well, okay. good luck, you two. Um, don't die, please. Um, and you, Zran. Damn. Uh, Damn. Can you? Is he still I in the tree? Drove I drove down. Okay. Let's go. All right. Uh, you guys uh, pursue your way into <laughs> the woods. Dora. Ethan, is it my turn? Dora. Uh, yeah. Well, I have something I want to do. Right. Sorry, so I'm, I'm just telling you a bunch of rocky little boys. Oh god. Did Jason like in a hole or something? <laughs> I should eat some dinner. You should become dinner. Uh, I was thinking I could just get some like leather or something. I got some like little cage from my bird's nest last week. Is there a cage on this? No, the bag has like a cage on it. Not the glass, but the nest cage on it. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure I did already. Hmm. Well, ammo handling. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> What's going on <laughs> over there, huh? <laughs> Alex, you really should have cast an animal handling last yeah. night. Meta knowledge.
he's getting shit to use on. to fail his perception check. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Well, we have, we have no idea about whether this is happening. If JC gets killed off off stream, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what he's fighting. Do you think the barrel survives? Better kill it. Whoa! What the hell? He rolled a- he rolled Man, that's crazy, I rolled it a hundred! hundred you want, holy shit! Well, I'm behind again, not the ping, so mine's up to you. What? Preston, that was perfect! <laughs> 100 D, buddy! Damn, Preston, you finally had a good roll! <laughs> Three at- holy shit! Maybe he's- he was the javelin, so maybe he's he found another deer or something. Look at the deer just go over javelin there and aimed a great axe. Maybe he missed the javelin. Wait, hold on, animal handling. He tried to tame a wolf and then it got mad. I'm trying to be something at range <laughs> because he used the javelin. Look at the dog. Look at the little dog. I'm surprised he hasn't used his genitals. Perception. Maybe that was a perception of Sue. Um, Valerie and uh, just Ram. Roll for a uh, uh, just Ram, I guess. Uh, roll for a survival. Um, uh, can I cast guidance on him to help him out? Yeah, you you do the whole guidance, baby. Oh God damn it! Did you you rock suck. <laughs> Some ranger. <laughs> with uh, with a nice. Ten in survival. Um, with the light, you know, being a little dim, the ground being a little bit harder to read. I ignore the problems with dimness. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's just a thing. <laughs> it's just some style there. I ignore your uh, dimness. All right, with the darkened area that is not in the dim area. He's got a little bit the of an issue. Of your character, Tanner. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? He's talking about the dimness of your character, Tanner. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> um, the, the oh, you light... know what? Ed, am I able to instruct? This is this is a little bit meta because this is in hindsight. Am I able to instruct the people that are at camp to uh, create a smoke signal to nope. just throw a ton of shit that would cause a lot of smoke on nope. the campfire? Okay. Already past that point. Okay. Um, yeah, with a 10, you start walking into the woods as the eerie sounds start to come out at you. Um, and... Eerie sounds. Oh, that was you. <laughs> yes, you hear the sounds of the bygone past. You uh, start walking the Ghost direction that you were told in which Goblin Slayer started running in. 
and uh, up comes to you guys is a uh, small fox, about 20 feet away or so. As he turns, uh, seeing your light, and stares at you. Um, am I able to tell if the fox is intimidated? It's not running away from the light. That's not a good sign. Um, that is very much not a good fucking no, sign. Does, you it, can does it present? That. Um, am I able to pull out a piece of food and throw it deeper into the woods? Uh, which direction? Like, towards the fox or off to the sides? Uh, off to the it? side of the fox. Oh, off of our path. Okay. Why don't you shoot it? Wait, wait, Ethan, Ethan. In this world, does there exist, like, <laughs> sexy hot animal shapeshifters? I wonder what's happened. Don't worry about it. I close the door. Um, well then, am I still able to see the fox? No, oh, the fox disappeared into the forest off to your left side. He threw it to you too. I'm yeah. going to proceed down the okay. path. Uh, is is there any like tracks on the ground that I can uh see? Uh, you. Uh, you guys are kind Preferably of following... Prints. Yeah, you guys are sort of tracking down his footprints. That It's a bit of harder ground, so, you know, you're not getting the delineable path marks, um, but you're looking at more of the disruption of the forest itself. Um, a bran uh, broken branch here and there, um, stomping down of some plants. Um, those are the tracks you guys are kind of following. Interesting. Watch your thunder. Yeah, no kidding. Man weighs probably like 300 pounds, I'd say. So this is a thumbing part of tracking the food. That's not a good sign. Tracks. They're obvious, yes, but they're too clear for me to really have much of a look at. Broken branches, scrapes and such. Most things walk well, well this way. Most things are organic living things. Um, how far do you think we've made it so far? About 200 minutes. I had to come a godly 100 from the end of the track, but worth comes to worse, he's been wandering. Hopefully he has some kind of internal compass, or at least knows the whole mark of the trees there. Uh, he's a fucking well, I don't know the mark the trees trick. I got something better. I'm gonna lay down. Uh, I'm gonna lay down one of my four. Uh, well, I guess I only have three because I gave one to him. Uh, one of my three uh, glowing branches mm -hmm. and point it into the direction that I think camp is. Okay. Uh, yeah, you kind of lay it down, and being that you haven't gone into too far of the woods, uh, you think it's in a pretty good direction. Cool. Uh, roll another system. survival check. Both of us. Can I, uh, can I assist random. them in this survival check? Yeah. Oh, God. 
So you can roll your d4 there. <laughs> Alex, what the fuck? Uh, I think I need a, you to start sharing your screen. And I just need to see those prompts. <laughs> I, I, dude, I'm telling you, I'm just slash r1d4. Right, right, right. Um... Here, you want me to prove it to you? 1d4. I oh, okay. that was another score. Interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, with a more impressive 23 now, uh, you guys start taking up the fresher tracks. Um, more indent, uh, in, in, Indent tracks, yeah. Indentations. Indentations. Yeah, yeah thank you. Been somewhere deeper. He's been uh, wandering. Much more wandering. deeper. He's been wandering. As you see, like his tracks. Oh, he's lost. <laughs> In the um, sauce. As you hear, starting uh, some rustling off to your left side. Uh, am I able to see what the rustling is? You can't see any. Uh, I point my like, crossbow at it. Okay. And you hear some more wrestling. Uh, can I fire? Uh, a firebolt. Actually, no. Can I hold Something firebolt the tree first? Okay. Um, I, hold on. I'll be right back. You no longer have firebolt. Wait, Sorry, I really need to shit. I'll be right back. You know I'm a terrible. Holy Alex, shit! What happened to Alex after like last session? Did you just get like hard nerfed? We, we kind of reworked his character so it's better in line. Yeah, um, with, with uh, what Artificer should be, because the reworked Artificer was actually more broken than the original one. Okay. Not broken per se, just... Um, yeah, you replaced it with something. Oh, did he even take your cantrips? I don't think I took my cantrips. Shit. Yeah, maybe you should do that. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll wait to see if you have Fireball or not. Actually, Ethan, do you remember it's Xanthar's uh -huh. Guide to Everything? Just, just open up a ZGE uh, Artificer? I'm not, I gotta go to my yeah. desktop for that. I'm yeah, in my I'll bedroom. Open it up for you then. Okay. Bitch Bitch. Ass. Arif, what are you up to? Oh, Arif's gone, right? Uh, it's Eberron, the Rising Last War. Yeah, you get two cantrips. I don't think you took those. Uh, so you want Firebolt and yes. Guidance. Okay. Yes. So you have Firebolt, Guidance, and Mending as your cantrips. Uh, so yeah, yes. you're able to fire a uh, Firebolt off into the direction to your left. Um, Goblin Slayer, roll a d100 for me. Motherfucker. All I'm saying is if I get hit by a fireball, I'm getting poised to throw the barrel. <laughs> Goblin Slayer, as you're walking around, you see a light off to the left side. Thinking it's one of your team members, you start walking towards it. Mm, and a firebolt comes out of nowhere and slams into your chest. 
I wish to advantage. whip the barrel at the direction of the firebolt. <laughs> roll a uh, roll a strength check or an athletics check. Oh, even better, even. <laughs> oh, dude, I have not rolled past like a ten today. <laughs> As uh, you chuck the barrel as it goes flying off to the left side of uh, Valerie. Um, Bro. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I got a DM from Tanner. <laughs> Sorry, Finals is messing up my guts. Yeah, must have been back. Oh I my god. Up your guts too. <laughs> no. I can mess up your guts if you let me. As the barrel goes flying next to you, um, off into the woods in the opposite direction. Um, as you can now see that Goblin Slayer comes into the dim light. I and point Lola. at Valerie. What fuck? What? I, in my defense. Uh, it's kind of scary out here. I got a little antsy. I'm sorry. Um, I, are you okay? You want dick suck? Excuse me? <laughs> so I go look for the barrel. Where, where barrel go? Mm, I look around. Do I see it, Ethan? With my incredible passive perception of 18, you're do I see it, it Ethan? I think your mic is muted, Ethan. Uh, you do not see the barrel anywhere. Bro. Can I walk now, with your great perception, thrown? you know it went off to the left side of you. I'm going to walk towards where I think the barrel is. Okay. Um, after, after, and Jan's going to follow too. After saying, you ugly bastard. Uh, you, you're able to find the barrel uh, pretty easily, about 30 feet away. I pick the barrel back up, and I say, where's camp? Oh, follow me. Can I trace back the steps that I was taking with the uh, aid of, uh, with Zram? Yeah, I'd say, coming back, you guys are uh, pretty easily find your way back to camp. Especially with that glowing twig. Big brain, big brain. As uh, everyone returns back to camp. Uh, except for Don, who's uh, just off over there. I say to Rug, me no fine stream. And then I point at Balor and I go, she threw a fireball at me. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Look, it, it doesn't look that bad. It just singed a little. Uh, a couple of hairs on your chest. But I think it looks... Good. Me flammable all hair. Uh, you actually skinned his uh, pouch, uh, his poncho, his uh, wolf skin poncho. M my oh. prize poncho, look at you, did cost me hand axe. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> look, there will be plenty of, plenty more wolves to skin, right? Werewolf, werewolf. All right. Well, um, where's the old man? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone at all? Grug. Grug? Where's the old man, Grug? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the old man? Grug. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Okay. Um. Zram, you're coming with me. Uh, I'm gonna. Does anybody know what direction the old man went in, at the very least? No. No. Is anything going on out there? 
Old man, not oh. important. Meat's important. We must cook meat. Oh yeah, roll for um, meat. Uh, drug and Corvo both roll a uh, sleight of hand check. For what? Huh? Dropping the meat. Get uh, it, um, turning the meat properly. Wow. Look what you so did to me! You ruined it. The meat, perfect, perfectly suited. Grug number one, know how to cook. Uh, Don, I'd say you, you'd have the intuition that probably went back to the camp. Maybe lost the meat. <laughs> I sulk my way back to camp. My heart, my shoulders hunched over. I'm like looking at the ground, <laughs> visually disappointed. Do I see the old man approaching? Yeah, with the campfire now. Um, pretty bright. What up, y'all? Oh, there you are. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, it's a troll. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ethan, I put the oh, things I was holding back in my I said inventory. I put a barrel. How we clean barrel now? Well, I suggest we use some purified water, or even some boiling water, and we rinse it out, dump that, and throw the meat in there. What do you think? We're fine. Me no fine stream. Uh, we have a little bit of water in our pouches, right? We don't need all that much water to clean it with. Be thirsty. We run the oh risk of God. being dehydrated if we do that. At the very least, and then we can find our stream and throw the meat in the barrel. We cook meat now. Meat need go barrel. Could we? Oh. Could we? If is the cart, no, no, Ethan? Uh, does the cart have like a tarp over it? Like you know. Food. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. Um, Does anybody here wear a cape? I don't think anyone has nope. a cape. No. Hmm. Okay, well, why don't we just wash it out with some water, even if it isn't boiling? Go what on. do you guys think? Go on. Could I try blessing the meat or the barrel? Can, Would this take uh, the blessing off my penis? Can I take some water from uh I think I th I think that wore off. Ethan, is my penis still blessed? <laughs> no. Damn. Uh yeah. You Can I bless the barrel? the barrel? Do I have the intuition to know um, if it would have the effect that I'm trying to go for? Let me quickly read it. No, it's a oh, not bless. Uh, you want lesser restoration, and it's a creature, so no. Oh. Unless you were trying to do something else. Okay. Yeah, no. No, I'm just trying to clean it. Is the bar the barrel? Is it? Yeah, you yeah, said it's, it's worn. Did you say it's stuff. dirty? Like it's got some dirt in there. Like you fixed it up. That's great, oh. but like it's still dirty. Okay, but done, if we do we have any spirits? You clean. Your water, hand it over. With what? Show me. Mm, I drank it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, pee uh, now. It's not gone through me quite yet. <laughs> it's not there. I'm not ready. I get stage fright. I can't do it unless everyone's left the bathroom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, no, you can't. Do I let this happen? <laughs> we can go down to rules if we want, but I don't think so. Let this happen. 
Um. <laughs> Pants up. I I uh, guess I better uh, have. They pee, pee now. Oh, great heavens! <laughs> it shrivels up even more, bro. <laughs> There ain't nothing coming out. Fort Knox okay, up on my balls, bro. Nothing coming out. <laughs> Ethan, my bottle's empty, right? <clears throat> a, um, performance check. Easy. I mean... Big cock. It's pretty convincing that he's saying that there's no water in there. He even takes it out and shakes it and there's no sound. Me believe for now. <laughs> I pull up my pants uh, with a large amount of debonair. I point back at Valerie. Clearly, you, we, you give me your water. You said you said you had water, clean barrel. <laughs> Whoops. Um, say that again. You ha you say you have water, clean barrel. Barely any. I have my rations. Clean barrel. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, sure. Uh, at first, Ethan, can I use the uh, large leaves that I got to clean out the, uh, the like, large sediment and whatever dirt's inside of there and just try and get most of it out before I clean it out with water? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you could try that uh, first stop. Um, this sure. would be a, I forget if there's a diff that I can do for this. I mean, you guys just roll survive, uh, sleight of hand. Um, uh, yeah, good. Ah. yeah, it would be a sleight of hand check. So, uh, yeah, 15. Yeah, you do a good job of getting a lot of that grind out there. Um, and like uh, getting a lot of the grime out uh, a lot of the bigger chunks of dirt I would say but uh, there's definitely still a good bit of dirt still like clinging to the sides of the walls that you can't really get without a leaf well in that case um, I'm gonna spend a about a day's ration worth of water not a whole lot um and this ram fucking dies of dysentery. <laughs> um, can I bring out the? Wait, can I point it? I'm gonna point out the uh, deer skin. I was holding the raw meat, and I go, "We use cover. Maybe lion. I Zam has deer skin too." I pickpocket his ram. He doesn't see a thing. <laughs> as he's Bye. died of dysentery. Uh, this ram catches you and he's like, What are you doing? <laughs> um, nothing. He goes back to being silent. <laughs> Ooh, that's that. Uh, yeah, by this mm -hmm. time, the sun is fully set and the stars are starting to come out uh, time wise. As the crickets around start to make their presence known can i ask who had the old smoked meat on them uh i think it's split up between zaram and grug yeah i go up to grug but grug please meet Rug. Me. 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 Here. I take about a rations worth of meat. I get, uh, like, two or three chunks. I eat it. You eat it. Can I do How does it taste? It taste hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, make a perception check. You good? It's salty. Mm, salt. It's not bad. Uh, it definitely, it's definitely hard to eat. Um, 
<laughs> my blood pressure yeah. go up. Uh, that's better. Who cares when Batfleck can try to bargain with him to get his other deer skin? Can I speak with Corvus? Uh, private? Or a bow? Corvus. Uh, no, I just kind of... Corvo. I thought uh, in aloud. I say his name correctly. Drake. 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 Wake up, Drake! Wake up! Oh my god. Never mind. I don't speak with him. Okay. Alright, it seems like a good time for everyone to go to bed, right? Well, we drop dead. Immediately. <laughs> Where is Zab? He's supposed to have unshit his pants by All now. Nighters? Uh, maybe we should have just taken a present and then go shit his ass off. <laughs> Oops. Right. What's going on? Oh, I just got a message, right? <laughs> Don Quixote approaches you, Corvo. I left for like 30 seconds. They won't put my dishes away. The moment I left, I was muted. Yep. Oh my god. I literally mm -hmm. ran upstairs and put stuff in the dishwasher and came back down. What, what was I missing? I'm speaking to you. Don Quixote isn't interacting with you. What are your spiritual slash religious beliefs? I just stare at him blankly. <laughs> uh, you know, I do one of these. Hello! I'm just making conversation. Okay. I don't, I don't pursue that conversation any further. Okay. Yeah, tuck in for the night. I'm going to go lay in the carriage. Your alarm spell goes off. There. And everybody in uh, the camp hears a large, uh, low ringing bell. Uh, we were waiting for that. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, oh shit. Yo, oh, shit, a sandboard for that. My bad. I'm late. I'm sorry. <laughs> Turn that mother trucking of bell carriage. off! Deactivate my alarm spell. Let a blood get some sleep. And then lay back in the carriage and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm truly waiting for Tanner to get back. I need him to be back for my part of this, dude. This is this is being this is destroying my aspect. <laughs> this is destroying my mirrors and I it's need not called the restroom. I was fighting for my fucking life in there. Unshit oh, your pants. Ethan. All right. Oh, no, quiet you. All right, Zam. It's the Ram. Zam. You're gonna call it Zam. Zam. I could bring back the aspen. It's called barrel is not fully clean. I want you to use my deer skin cover barrel. We use your deer skin line inside. Keep me clean. What did I miss? Alex tried to use some water to clean the barrel. Did a pretty decent job, but there's still dirt on the inside. Uh, what, what, oh wait, was the rustling in the bush you? Yes. He hit me. He hit me with the fireball, and I threw a barrel at him. <laughs> so in the fucking tree. Either way, lacquer would help if I don't know if you actually have enough deer skin to make it safe. Worst comes to worst. We uh, could use your deer skin though, yes. Yeah, line inside could. Keep or we could tie cool. we could basket weave up some grass together to make a proper bottom. We got some apple bottom jeans. Why, why make bottoms with the fur with the fur? Why am I talking about lining the barrel or making a lid? Lining the barrel. I use my deer skin as a lid. How does that we could use deer skin or we could just uh, Grass basket. I still need deer skin to line inside. Mine covered I in mean, raw meat. Line inside. Fuck it. I don't need it anymore. 
I donate my deer skin to the people generously. Thank you. People. The people thank you. <laughs> I then lie on the inside of the barrel with the new deer skin. Uh, you line it with the deer skin. I bet that was pretty good. Sure. Two commies are talking to each other. One commie says, that. Comrade, what would you do if you had two houses? Why, I would keep one for myself and give one to the state. What would you do if you had two cars? Again, I would keep one myself and give one to the state. What would you do if you had two pairs of pants? Comrade, what would you do? Why, do, why don't you answer? Because, comrade, I have two pairs of pants. Uh, <laughs> that was a good joke, Tanner. Anyway, uh, oh. the barrel has now a new oh. line oh. in it. Oh. Hey guys, I'm gonna eat bacon rapidly to turn this off to soft. Oh. Uh, how much of the meat have we smoked thus far? Because I had 50 pounds on me. What was the punchline? Um, I was going to give shit up until they actually own it. Uh, I would say you guys oh. have about 20 pounds or so of unsmoked meat so far. right now. And about Why don't we just smoke 35 pounds of <laughs> smoked meat. Alright, I start putting the pot of the smoked meat in the barrel. Okay. I point at Grug and Zam and I say, you should put cooked meat in barrel. Who's clean now? Uh, barrel, somewhat much cleaner, lined with deer skin, keep meat clean. Nice. Do we not Perfect. have a priest and a nature, or and a worshiper of a nature goddess? Why couldn't we just do a purify? Meta knowledge. <laughs> Just purify food and drink. That's not meta knowledge. You're not gonna <laughs> eat the barrel. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> you got meat in a barrel now. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. A barrel full of smoke cheat. This changes everything. <laughs> uh, life could not be better. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Well, you guys are feeling tired now. You, you guys oh. are thinking like, oh, I should go to bed. Man, I'm so tired all of a sudden, randomly. It's just like, Probably for the best. I go to sleep and under so the card. Sleep. Who do we vote on to be the first watch? I go to sleep under the I vote not me. I have now minus one vote. I watched last time. Well, I'm going it's, to bed. I, it's been some time since I took a watch, so I'll take first watch. Who's taking second then? I'm already hot, so don't look already, at me. No, I can I'm not tired, just kicking me awake. I was just sleeping in the tree. Uh, right. I take first watch then. Okay. Everyone else goes to sleep. Right, how, are okay. we gonna how, how are we going to track how much meat we have in the barrel in terms of rations? Uh, I will say like two pounds is like one ration. So Be with two pounds, pounds in a single meal? It's crazy that there's a... No, a ration's eggs. a day's meal. Okay. All we need to do is get some meat and make some pots. So you have 15 I, I've eaten over three right pounds now. in a single meal before. <laughs> I believe that. It was at I Korean. Believe. It was at K-Pot. I ate so much. <laughs> you eat too much beef. You need to go now. <laughs> they were, they I had a milkshake. They turned the grill on me, those bastards. <laughs> I kicked you out. <laughs> I had 50 pounds of meat cooking right now, and then Zam and Grug had meat cooking, and who had cooked meat already before this. But I feel like we should have more than 15 rations. No, I'd, I'd say it's about there. Um, yeah, you, guys, like, you still have, yeah, you can cook the rest of the meat tonight. Okay. You still have 20 pounds to go, so 10 more rations. Okay, I'm content with that. I go to bed under the cart. Good night. Okay. <laughs> under the cart, gotcha. <laughs> um, Grug, roll a uh, perception check. Let's 
I love shotgun mm. uh, Wait, I can't click on perception. How do I usually do this? Uh, you click on perception. Uh, Are you uh, deficient in clicking a button? You should have a damage. Yeah. Ain't working. There you go. We tried you reloading the page. Slick. Um. Yeah, with a fifteen. Uh, you look around the area. There doesn't seem to be anything happening. Are you uh, attempting to smoke meat while you're on watch? Uh, no. Okay. We didn't smoke all our meat. No. <laughs> Good point, Mongo. Oh. So well. <laughs> Might as well just set up smoke stations, <laughs> right? Uh, well, uh, he's not smoking the meat, so he's not smoking the meat. Yeah, we that didn't set up just five another day. He said they would. Okay. Um, mostly un unenjoyable I... watch. It is about midnight now. So it's about time for someone else to probably take over your watch so you can get a full rest. Wait. Midnight? Did we start at... At dusk. It's halfway through the night. There you go. Okay, that, that works. That works. That works. Alright, I will... Where is he? I'll... He's over here, isn't he? I'll, I'll bonk Zran uh, awake. Flip you bonk him in the head. I flip the tree door. Throw a rock at him to bonk him. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for Kobe. accuracy. Ch Chutter the tree. Oop. Crump the tree. You're, you're not gonna like fall off or anything. What? The tree. You gotta wake me up. No, no. I mean, while you're sleeping, it seems kind of difficult. Fall asleep sitting still. Ah, well, in any case, uh, yeah, I'll try and climb up there. If it looks okay. possible. Uh, yeah, it looks possible to get up there. Okay, freak my brain. Um, right. yeah, you're able to climb up because it's a small tree on these branches. And you get up to, uh, right about where he's, uh, sleeping at. Him and say, "Hey, Zran, uh, wake up! It's your watch." Did you start smoking the meat? Uh, was I supposed to? It's not like you did your last another day. We didn't vote on it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it as the vanguard. I shall join you. Damn. Myself. Well, cool. during my watch, I guess, Ethan, I'll set up the smoking uh, stacks. Okay, you, you can kind of set up the smoking stacks. And I guess start smoking meat. Okay, uh, make a survival check. Yeah, with an 18, because you're the second watch, you're able to smoke the rest of the meat for the rest of the night. Pretty easy. Um, a gun at the floor. Uh, roll a perception check. I actually don't have any more than six points of perception. Oh. <laughs> that one. oh my god. You're <laughs> really focused on the meat. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, the sun starts to rise over the, the west side. Because, uh, nothing else you, uh, hear it goes bump in the night. As the sun starts to rise, people uh, appear to be uh, waking up from their nice long slumber. I stood up and hit my head on the cart. <laughs> Does he trigger the alarm? Wake up because he hits his head. Of... Does he trigger the alarm? No, the alarm is dispelled. Alex already yeah. triggered it. Oh, oh I missed it. it. Yeah. You're dead. Oh, you're shitting your brains out. I'm about to shit my brains out in just a moment. Why didn't you go while I went? Because I was, 
I was in the forest trying to find him. Was Ethan gonna autopilot both of us? <laughs> All right. Uh, start of the new day. Shall we take a quick ten minute break? Shit break. Yeah, sure. All right. Ten minutes. You're back at seven. Okay. Seven seventeen. So we can continue the session. Got it. Alex, it means don't bring in the phone right. to the bathroom. Most played songs of the year was not ever a song I looked out to play. It just kept showing up in my fucking feed, or it just kept showing up in my uh, random playlists. I never actually had it. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm back. I'm Ethan. Hey, Ethan. I lied. I'm not back. I'm behind you. No, you're not.
Did you see my name by chance? Yes. Oh, that was up. So this birthday, the birthday cake, the fucking gooey butter cake. What about the butter cake? We made the gooey butter cake. You still never ho hooked me up with a recipe or anything around that tanner. I sent you it. That's essentially uh, fucking yellow cake, uh, egg, two sticks melted butter. I still remember your birthday, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I was going nuts on that shit. I know. I was fucking angry because there was none to enjoy the next day, you cunt. That's my I favorite was... goddamn cake. Tanner, I'm a sugar fiend, and you gave me something that was super good, and I was like, dude, it's going, it's going off. See, the thing is, it's supposed to be two different types of enjoyable because the next day, well, it tur if you do it wrong or right, depending, it turns into a cake. I didn't get to do that because you ate fucking all of it. I literally found a piece that had a bite mark in it, and I ate the other side of the bite mark up to the bite mark tanner. You fucking... I... Eat... <laughs> I eat that cake once a fucking year, and you do that to me. Dude, that's the first time I ever had that cake. I get to do what I please. But, if you give me the recipe... <laughs> And I'm not a lazy ass, I will make it. I'll make some. Yeah. Uh, I can never do it. I can never do it. Party. Again, it's essentially just yellow cake, egg, two sticks of melted butter, and uh, cream and cheese whipped together. She did what in your cheese? Breast True. milk. <laughs> <laughs> can you, how, many, how many eggs? Just like one egg or something? I believe one. I, again, I'll just get your recipe later, but it's essentially that from this. Uh, do you use, by the top of the head, do you know if you use salted or unsalted butter? Unsalted. Go ahead and uh, toast up butter sugar. <laughs> and then do you know how much cream cheese again? One block, it, it get dope. Hey, don't worry, I'll just get your recipe tomorrow. Alright, I'm writing a general outline just in case we forget and I'll have it like saved. Once again, thank Discord Mobile Alrighty. for having an update literally worse than nothing. Yeah, that that update's pretty pretty fucking bad. Well, here's this. It's annoying me the most is not only searching shit up got changed entirely, but also pins no longer show attachments. It just mm. says as posted an attachment with nothing else. You know, because we have to make things worse than nothing. Of course. How else do people keep their jobs? It's for the shareholders, man. Missing out Job your user base and making the shareholders a private money. company. Well, I don't think it ma makes them any money. Buying Disco Metro, I was genuinely planning on buying it. I'm never giving these fuckers money until they revert. Yeah, I just disabled my auto update for Discord because it hasn't updated money? for me. It's a server Current version still trash so though. You eventually. Ethan, what did you post and not say for work? Oh, it was just a uh, Twitch stream. stated Twitch. Just... Literally, no bra. Her nipples are right out of sight of camera. Ah, it... uh, it's fucking crazy. Uh, look at, look at... What are you talking about? Uh, not for work chat. Are you? That could be you. No. Just tell me, is this a person I should know? Okay. Uh, I got preoccupied, but I'm back. 
Apparently there's a worse streamer called. Oh yeah, she's streaming right now. <laughs> I gotta check it out. Like, it, it is just oh, ridiculous, cause you it's... When you jerk right? it off. I love that one fucking meme where it's, uh, what of these three, or what of these three images are from Chatterbait? The other one is from, uh, Twitch. <laughs> just kidding, all of them are from Twitch. Yeah, it, Twitch gets a lot of money from e so they don't want to do anything to them. Plus, evidently, it's, uh, empowering. Remember, e has sex on the stream, one week ban. A single man talks about sex. Talks about how girls are taking over streaming and the unfair rulings being made against yeah. men. Fucking lifetime ban. And also, evidently, they're pretty ban happy on uh, VTubers too for some sexual stuff. Not even sexual stuff. They're just ban happy against VTubers. I don't blame them. Fuck Small price. Get, get nuked. <laughs> no. no. I concur. Do we have everybody here? Long live the virtual yep. people. There's Preston. Is Preston here yet? Yeah? Ben wants to have yeah, sex with that. a child. Who's... Yeah. Okay, we're all here. Alright. As uh, people awaken to the new day of enjoyment and excitement happening around the world around them. Uh, I'll say the first to wake up is Grug. Hello! So morning. Up and out early. Good morning, uh, an uneventful one. Me. Alright, everybody roll 1d20 to see uh, how well they slept. Uh, including me? Uh, yeah. Oh, I look like a log, bro, I look like a log! <laughs> Greg, that's why you woke up first. <laughs> so, <laughs> sleeping on a rock. Yeah. I was sleeping on the rocks when I should have been eating the rocks. Why do we all have middling roles? <laughs> pretty, pretty mid, uh, dream sesh, bro. Oh, that's I, with I don't know about the under the cart lifestyle. <laughs> you know, yeah, it, this this spread is like, you know, just about perfectly even. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> you know, like that, the man in the tree, and then the <laughs> better than the people on the ground. Oh, the, the person who was most on the ground is up the best, Tanner. They're shy of their destiny. They're shy of their belief. Wow, that's a perfect 10 average. Or near perfect 10 average. That's crazy. 10.011? Damn. Does us sleeping like really good or really bad give us advantage uh, for the rest of the day or disadvantage? gets his next action at plus 1d2. I believe. <laughs> There's a girl right there, but you gotta make the old oh, man you gotta fuck me. <laughs> Damn, gotta love yourself some elderly fuck me. Nah, it was just more a life was just how well you slept. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you guys wake up, uh, I'm guessing you guys have a nice meal. Ooh, this car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the no. car moves under you. Uh, is that bird's nest full at all? <laughs> you wanna go check? No, I'm gonna be so sleepy. Okay. What if you fuck Pizza? Ethan, is the barrel of meat next to the fire? Uh, no, you put it in your cart. Oh, I put the rest of the snack next to the barrel, then. <laughs> All right, cool. very nice. Uh, you guys now have 25 rations. Okay, Remember, um, a ration is a day's meal um, per person. Um, can we what? survive off half rations for disadvantage? What? Why don't we go find a stream? Hmm? 25 rats! There's oh, rats God. everywhere! Yep. Give me a reason. <laughs> you going on a lot of rats! Hopefully, there will be water nearby. Ethan, what does the front of the wagon look like? Is there like a thing to like hook horses up to? Or is there like two wooden handles coming inwards? How, what's it looking like? Um. Yeah, we'll just go with the normal simple one. So it's a single bar protruding from the center frame. 
Um, like in the picture? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. I if I get can. in front of the cart. I, I, I put my things on in the cart, closer to the side where the bar is, and then I start pushing the cart down the road or pulling the cart down the road. Alright, <laughs> you start pulling the cart. Um, yeah, the cart just. Roll a. Uh, Good morning, everyone. Check. Yeah! Yeah, with the 25, this scene starts to move. As uh, everyone else just kind of. Oh! I'm cooking out oh. here. Wait, the barrel fell off. He flipped it on its side. The barrel. Oh, that's crazy. Look, my uh, phone. Okay. <laughs> it's not rusting over an open fire. Shouldn't we go down, not up? Um, like south. Imagine the entire map. Yeah, so we should go down. Degrees. You're heading west. Yeah. New path. Okay. I guess I um okay. I walk alongside the cart. Everyone uh, agreeing on everything and just going along. Or does uh, anybody else want to do anything? This I morning? have a suggestion. The van does what she here. As we, as we, you know, push this cart, and make our journey. Why don't? Stream? Question oui. mark? Water? Hmm? Well, I'm in stream, I really can. Why? <laughs> Why water? Do we not have enough? Uh, well, we have plenty of food rations, but how many water rations do we really have? Uh, you, you would still have about a day's worth of water. Enough to make it big anyway. Because yeah. I'm running a little bit low. Mm hmm. Let's go then. Let's go. Water among the rest. Let's go. <laughs> Does anybody get in the cart? Because it's a larger cart, um, you couldn't pull the cart with someone inside. Well, we got the bigger cart this time. <laughs> <laughs> We're chucking crop. Who the fuck does have the mo uh, freaking cell phone in the background? Is he Preston's like dad, I think. Playing this loop, can't you tell? Senior Rocky. I can't. No, that's my yeah, my dad. The clearness. Yeah, close oh. Clearness. oh. Look at that tatter. Fuck you. Don't you play clarinet, Preston? Yeah, Preston. Uh, yeah, it did. It's been a long time, so. <laughs> Since uh. <laughs> yeah. Who whip it out for Halloween next year? I say out loud, me focus, push cart, you look water. And then I go back to the other and I focus on pushing the cart. Well, I look to my right as I walk. We elected the cavalier, right? Because we elected the cavalier. You elected me initially, remember? At the gate, yeah. maybe? Yeah, or two of you voted for me. Hey, I would vote for you. Again, uh -oh. if I didn't already vote for you. I don't think that I did, because I don't remember voting. But I would vote for you. I appreciate it. I want you to be my vice mayor. <laughs> oh, yeah. He would not give you the shovel. I think we're just uh, continuing it, Ethan. Oh, okay. Um, you guys uh, start making your way down. The sun's starting to come up nice and bright. Um, in the... Uh, Uh, up nice and bright up in the sky um, as you guys start walking through the forest that you've been walking through and um, having your time with um, as you guys start to near around a bend um, you guys see a wagon approaching rolling 1DF one
what it, what, what is like what's who's coming on the wagon? Is it like horse drawn or? Uh, at this point in time, you can't see anything. Uh, can't see anybody uh, on the wagon. It's too far away. But you see a um, horse and a wagon. I would not vote on him or a horse. Um, I, Ethan. Yep. Ethan, can I take? How a do closer? they look? Actually, wait. With my <laughs> incredible passive perception, yep. can I determine God. what kind of people these are? Yeah, um, you know, with this far enough distance, you can see that they are... <laughs> what? What the fuck? Anything what but is Elvish. that? I don't know. Um... Oh, I think I know what that means. But, you can see that there are uh, two elves uh, sitting on the wagon. No, no! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> yep. Two. Valerie, There's what do you see? Guys. I visually perk <laughs> up. <laughs> and I get a little perked up. <laughs> okay. Is that a problem? No, just letting you know. You guys are uh, now about 30 feet away from each other, approaching fast. And you now can see the older looking uh, elf man uh, wave to you guys. Hey, I wave really... back. Call out. <laughs> Enthusiastically call and call friendly. Out to stop for a minute. Um, yeah, by the time you come up and talk to him, they're about 15 feet away now. And they uh, hold the reins. Ahoy there! Gonna... Ahoy. Is the road ahead hey there. Uh, you I'm got... gonna... Sorry, go ahead. It's just uh, the wagon. Then. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hop out, or, well, I'm gonna walk up to their cart. Um, and I'm gonna inquire, Hey, is the... how's the road up ahead? Oh, how are you today? The road, it's oh, doing, doing fantastic. fine. <laughs> What shall be your name? Um, oh, I'm Valerie, and this is my party. Ah! Very, uh, interesting party you have going on there. Well, yeah, I, I am William... Them. I am William Jackson. And this is my son, uh, Ben Jackson. And Ben kind of gives you a half wave. Hurry, calm down. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> Uh, I, sorry to stop you. I didn't. I don't mean to take up too much of your time, but uh, do you do you have any water by chance? We're running a little bit low. We can trade you for some of our food if you'd like. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, but we are not able to uh, give away our water. We brought just enough for us to get to Timber Mill, and you can now see in the back of their uh, wagon is a bunch of hay. Why don't we turn this campaign evil and start murdering people? It would not align with <laughs> half your characters. <laughs> it would be against the revolution. Well, what about the other half of characters? <laughs> you only said half. You two should be warned. Wolves up ahead. Oh, Talking. well. Watching. Do you have any medical supplies by chance? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, we do not have any. Uh, with us. That's a shame. Well, okay. Thanks for stopping anyways. And I'll go back to my cart. Can, yeah. can I approach the cart? Oh, and, um... I walk up. I call out... Uh, Hold on, one I ask an elvish... Oh, my bad. Oh, no. I want to shoot over you before he gets closer. I wonder how old this kid is, though. Hmm? I walk a little closer. Burp. Excuse me. Uh, and you can make your way back to the cart. I'm gonna walk back to the cart and uh, what? Uh, walk up to Minotaur, in between Minotaur and uh, Grug. Uh, and I'm gonna whisper. Uh, 
outside of audible range. Let's not pick a fight here. What? Were we thinking on doing that? Was that the plan? Are we... What? It seems like Cro Crovis or whatever the Frick Drake's name was. <laughs> Cor <laughs> Conrad? Crovis the scavenger, not a fighter. Ethan, are the elves looking at us by chance? Uh, yes, yeah, you up. guys are in their way. Up. I hit a quad stomp. Oh, we should. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> I hit a quad. You ever, you ever, you ever seen Jay Cutler's what? famous quad stomp? No. Oh, let me pull this up uh, quickly because I, want, I need. I don't need uh, to be out tomorrow. It is online. Wednesday. So. Can I call out to them the one you love the world? <laughs> oh, quad stop, not quad stop. Yeah, I'm hitting one of those nasty little heels. I'm just putting, I'm slamming the heel down on the ground, and I'm showing them the leg muscles. That's been driving the wagon. All right, you go for the flex, baby. <laughs> Uh, they, they, uh, they kind of like approach each them. Other and then they, uh, they look back and they're like, okay. I'm just shaking my head, yeah. Or yeah. shame that you guys don't have a horse. Those are much better at pulling wagons. I had a full muscular, don't need one. <laughs> True, but it's a much greater story to have a creature push it. It's a good icebreaker, you know? Front facing left spread. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just are hitting them all. <laughs> I'm getting them going. I got the whole routine down. He starts doing the Egyptian dance too. Yeah. Can I approach the car? Uh, which Bears. side are you approaching? I uh Um oh, the oh, one with the oh, young oh. boy. <laughs> Shut up, Drake. He, he Having a moment, please. Team. Uh, okay, I, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I speak in Elvish, you know, what way do the, does the wind blow, or, you know, that one oh, thing oh, that I know. Um, How does she fly on the wind or something? Oh, uh, give me one second. You say to them, um, oh, ah, I forget what I was saying. I think it was like, you say she flies on her wings. Yeah, she flies like wings on of her silver. wings of silver. Wings of silver. They uh, respond that to me? The young boy looks at his father, and his father uh, looks, looks up at the rest of the company, and uh, he nods his head uh, to you. Um, okay. And he uh, motions you to come over to his side. Okay. I I, uh, I do so. And the father takes you to Breer in, and he says, "Uh." Uh, the goddess uh, has the goddess bestowed upon you he asks I show him the red ball <laughs> uh, he just Oops. takes a weary look at it I ask him for a little more information in regard to what he's asking me for uh, he looks up once again looking at the party it's not too great to talk to this uh, not too great to talk here. But you will find in the uh, city uh, Rabbit's Grove you find a red door with an eye on it. That is all I can say. 
is it like um uh, would this be like kind of obvious like in the open or uh, would it be like hidden away you will be able to find it pretty easily and doc knock head door with an eye and answer the phrase she flies on silver wings yeah are we going to rabbit's grove like are we heading in the direction um and then he hops off his um, trailer and uh motions you to walk with him to the back okay um you are now out of sight of the uh of all, everyone else uh one second Um, yeah, and the man, uh, reaches down into the hay barrel at the base, and he seems to pull something out as he reveals back his hand, um, which seems to be a red liquid in a bottle. He, uh, he hands it to you for the goddess protection, a healing potion for you. Oh, oh. I give him a firm handshake, and I, you know, do one of those handshake hugs. Good Thank you. you. Another one, please. Let us be on our way then, as to not to raise suspicion. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs> as you guys see, uh, the two pair come back out again. I pull my trousers up, and no. I, before I walk no. back. No. <laughs> 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 He's just being friendly. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you that much of a quick shot? What can I say? These old bones still got game. <laughs> well, it I was a back. good time to chat, but we shall be going now. Uh, if you could pull off your cart to the side so we could get past, that would be most grateful. Certainly. Yeah, he starts to steer his horse off to the side. Are you guys uh, pulling the trailer over? Yeah, I think so. Right. Okay. It's in. All right, fine. We pull it. Oh, pull it over a little. Okay. Can I? Never mind. Okay. Can you? And uh, oh. he uh, waves to everybody. Good travels. Uh, there's a stream not too far up ahead. Uh, good luck finding it. Beware the wolves. Of course. <laughs> As uh, he starts his way back down. Now, old man. What the fuck? Huh? Don't worry about it. Um, by this time, the... Uh, the wagon is now cresting over a hill. You guys can no longer see it. No, seriously, what the fuck? It is like the most unproductive and creepy party. Uh, I can you be a little more specific and in your no, question? But I will specify <laughs> what the fuck was that. You most certainly can, Jason. Let's go! What did, what did Jason do? God. He's fucking flexing up a storm in the front. I added a pose list to my character to pull from. <laughs> are you just gonna randomly choose from me, or are you gonna work down the list? Well, I need to- f I'm trying to figure out, like, I'm trying to figure out what would be, like, the most efficient way to go about going through the set, you know? I gotta get my routine in order. For now, it's just I pick one. You can, like, type them- J Jason, you can, like, add them as weapons, and then you can, like, <laughs> click them and then, like, pop them in the chat. Idea. <laughs> I go for the bicep. I'm, I'm doing that, dude. I want you to know I'm doing this. Be, 
They're just like intimidation checks. <laughs> Should we go find the stream? I wait for Goblin Schreyer to stop flexing. Wait, it has, it has a four damage type. <laughs> 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 Immaculate. Just does four damage. What a chat. I start pulling the card again. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's what happens. Uh, yeah, you guys start uh, making your way uh, down the area. Uh, and not for long. I'd say you guys are now about midday or so. Um, you guys come across a stream uh, by the side of the road. Uh, I'm just going to keep repurposing this area because it's super good. Um, <laughs> as you see the stream kind of like flow down and away um, off the side of the road here. Oh, wonderful. Water. Nice. And uh, Valerie, uh, you see um, with your 18 passive perception. Um, you see off in the distance, um, down the stream of water, uh, some smoke rising in the air. There's some smoke rising in the air? Yeah. Down the stream? Yeah. That is not a good thing. Um, guys? And I point. Guys, you're gonna watch and with her pointing, everyone's be able to follow her gaze. Can to... I identify if it's a campfire or a forest fire? Um, it seems to be a uh, campfire, based on how much smoke's being produced. Oh. Not that good. No it's such an amazing thing. reaction, after all. No such thing as passive investigation. There is... Um, it's just so rarely used that it might as well not exist. Cool, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> so, yeah. What are you guys up to? Wait, we're next to... We're, yeah. I uh, put my water skin. Water skin so... Can we... Can I see if it's, like, safe to drink water? Unless you... <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Make a uh, investigation check. Oh no, I'm retarded even. Is that what? Uh, with a ten, it seems like this flowing water would have good drinking potential. Good enough for me. I feel the water skin. You fill up your sack full of water. Not poops. I pull out my fishing rod. <laughs> okay. Uh, and this stream's about ten feet across, and it seems a little uh, good deep. Uh, it's like about maybe about three feet deep. Is there any fish in the stream that we can notice? Um, with your passive perception, it doesn't appear to any fish in the stream. What, what about his active perception? Go for a perception roll. You don't what see any fuck, fish. <laughs> no watery fish. fish. <laughs> Not sure no fish. Do I get any catches on my line? It's been approximately 30 seconds, so no. How big is the tree? Hmm. Uh, 10 feet across. Uh, it's a river. It flows downhill. 10 feet across is not. 10 feet across and about 3 feet deep. Well, probably no fish. Maybe lots of creepers, but... <laughs> it's actually best to water them all with food. This ain't your mama's stream. Well, I'm gonna take this opportunity. Before I go investigate that smokestack... Um... I'm going to... Uh, strip down oh. to underwear oh wash my body off wash my clothes off 
Mend my armor. I'm fishing, you <laughs> dumb whore! I'm doing okay. this downstream, like a good 30 feet away from you. Fuck off. Here. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> Slut! <laughs> okay. um, um, and then I'm also going yeah. to fill up my uh, water container with as much water as I can. Okay. Uh, yeah, you fill it up. Sick. Uh, and uh, yeah, taking a bath is pretty easy. And washing some of your clothes. I pee in the stream. <laughs> giving up the smell of the forest. You would be noticeable. Okay, never mind. No, no, no. I don't. I don't piss. I don't piss. I walk up the grog. I think about my it. water pouch, and I go, "Can you purify?" You can purify something. How about everybody uh, get together because uh, with get all your water together because then I can do it all at once. There we go. It's around the cocky area with our waters. Okay, I surround them. All right, I'm successfully surrounded then. And I would say with some I use purified food and drink on all of their. Um, Someone stole this Alright. I go back to fishing. And I'd say, uh, probably about this time that you're all nice and clean. Sick. All the stink washed off. Shame. Stink. You gave it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it the smell of the forest. Now you're even more noticeable. Okay. Oh, man, she didn't give you the hand job. Summer, let me I'm gonna 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 i Boot it up my PC. Oh, boot up my PC. My bad. My bad, PM. My bad, PM. Cause I need it. Okay. Do I? How long have I have I been standing? What's Ariba doing? Uh, Ariba is fishing. Valerie is done bathing. Everyone got water. Uh, there's still spiral. the smoke up in the distance, downstream. Uh, with a 15, yeah, you got a, you got a bite. Make an athletics check to see if you can pull the fish out of the water. Ooh, with a five. Can I see him struggling and try to help? Yeah, go for it. Roll an athletics check. Hey. Fish! You pull that fish out, and it's a nice six inches. That fish is drowning. Save it. That oh. fish is above average. <laughs> <laughs> the fish is ginormous. Fish it's like, is it's like the size of your hand. You could fish. choke on it. Oh, shit. Uh, what kind of fish is it? Um, Salman? a fish. Yeah, it looks a yummy looks looking yummy. kind or it is an edible fish. Guys, uh, guys look! Uh, Goblin Trader and I got a pretty yummy looking fish. Is it resist is it yeah. like wagging around a little or is it like just dead no, dead on arrival? Where is the fish right now? Who's holding it? It's on the hook. Mm. Alright, Don Oaks his hand. Don me kill fish. Uh. I grab Kill? <laughs> you have to throw it back. I the and I punch it. No, like stop! You. You're hurting it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm punching it in the air and punch it out of the air. Like I'm, it's like it's, I'm like holding it like it's in my palm and I'm just beating it. You know. Like. Stop! No. He's macking on it. Okay, but before he's, he's uh, macking on it. Do I kill the fish with the punch or how many? How many? How many things take? Hold on, I cast. It takes at least three punches. I'm I'm going. I'm going <laughs> you the fish. 
Okay, I caught. I cast bless the dead <laughs> on the fish. Fly high, buddy. I hand it back to Don. Good catch. <laughs> Just the contorted fish, dear God. Is it bleeding or is it all internal? Has it been popped out? I just kind of place it on the ground next to the stream. I I point I point the fish. You know what? Yeah, I'm good. I walk it back to the cart. Alright. I wash my it? hands. Wait, well, it, it, if the guts are on the ground, it's yeah. it, already got it. It's only some of them. You see someone hack with a lung, that doesn't mean they don't have their liver in them. Ethan, can I attempt to carve up this, the fish for fillet? Uh, yeah, you can go, go for a survival check. Come on, baby, fish fillet. That is not a fish fillet. <laughs> you messed up really bad. I but take the whole the fish and I just throw it back in the river. <laughs> Guts and all. It seems like him punching it to death did not do very much good. Wait, hold on. My thing hasn't updated yet. What was the roll? A four. Four. <laughs> After I beat it to death, I mangled it with a knife and now it's back in the river. <laughs> Let's not let the fish near the herbivore. <laughs> herbivore. I already know this. That doesn't work. Does anybody else want to try fishing? I say we keep Why? going west, or whatever direction we're heading. Okay. We're on the top of Pine River, I think. At least. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Hey. Wait, we, uh -huh. are. we are. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, I'm bothered, we are. <laughs> That's a month, dude. Yeah, you ain't gotta worry. We got time. <laughs> Ow! Pushing the cart back in the same direction. Okay. I put my fishing gear away. Are you traumatized? Are you bait for fish? Uh, are you guys not going to go investigate the smoke? I don't plan to. Time okay. limit. Uh, uh, I'm, there, I'm going to. I was just taking the opportunity to uh, get water and purify okay. it, and then we would go investigate as a team once we're done. Hmm? Okay. Nope. Hey, Grug, would you like to purify uh, my water? Uh, he already did it, remember? Yeah, I would say Without everyone you. got together and he yeah, used to spell once. To do it. So, yeah, okay. have... not gonna that sounds good. Who spells slots on purifying water? Just one. That's, that's understandable. Why don't we go investigate that smokestack, huh? <laughs> no. Why are you shut your mouth?! <laughs> <laughs> no! <clears throat> no! <laughs> Sorry, I, I got a little. I, <laughs> I stay with the car. Okay. We move down the river. Um, we fight Valerie, we ignore her, we keep going. Okay, I go with Valerie's, Valerie's going alone. Okay, now that the ball and chain is gone. Uh, when I, now that I the other ball and chain. Um, am I able to cast mend on my clothes to make them not wet? No. That would be presidigitation. Uh, it's ten feet. It's not a river. It's the digitation. A yeah, I would say, like, your little pants get a little wet. Nah, I, I just washed my clothes. I'm dripping wet. Oh, right. Even if I run them out, I'm, <laughs> I'm moist. Do the fucking I'm moist. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry. He's, He's dripping, bro. Drippy. Yeah. Alright, so Don, uh, Zram and Valerie are gonna go investigate. Behold. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Thank you for saying that, Tweedledee. <laughs> Tweedled hard and tweedled <laughs> Okay. Let's see if I don't mess this up. Um... Is it just your duty to sexually harass all elves? 
Will what? you be an elf now? No. Where is this coming from? I, I was recalling the previous experience. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I am, I'm suddenly worried about Jesus. As Why is that? Like parents can't control themselves in the future. Oh, I see. What? It's a bunch of nerds. Hey, are you guys in the void now? You can't see Sarah. Yes. Okay, cool. No, I'm yeah, not. You're not. So I do this. Okay, there we go. Okay. What? Oh. E. So dumb. What are you talking yep, about? Yep, that's the me. You know, um, the beauty of life oh, and okay. such. <laughs> well, no, hold on. No. No. It was perfectly straight. No, so oh, straight. You take man in the back of a wagon, talk about nature? <laughs> that it, it was not what it looked like. Come back pulling up pants? It was not oh, what it looks it like. It seems like it was. Whoa. Nuh-uh. What was it like? Um, he you gave me I something. <laughs> 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 I stopped talking. <laughs> I, point, I, I, I whisper over to Grug and I point to Don. Don Gay. Take it up, but. Don Gay Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Small price to pay to safely cross our paths. Your ears are very cunning, <laughs> huh? I really regret teaching you the word cunning. Mm, that happened. I say we put the barrel in a tree and go in after him. That's my vote. And the vanguard is decided. Kill the what? Who's the we put the barrel in a tree and then goblins, a lot of them. Oh, the barrels and things too. Wait, they, they caught back up to us? Yeah, yeah, they came back. There's one thing we can do. You guys stopped Act. and waited for him. Ah, oh, cringe. Oh, Goblin come players. on. Why would they have a fight with bears? Hold on, maybe they're part of the revolution. No. The one that you like. They use I'm barrel asking either. Destroyer. What do you mean? They either stuff goblin in a barrel and throw goblin in barrels so on got barrel break, they go flying out. Or is explosive. Maybe stuff woman in there. You think uh, if we hit it with the flaming arrow, they will be doomed? If explosive, yes. If woman barrel, no. Well, hold on. We're assuming that the, it's exclusively filled with explosive material. What if there's something useful, like well, treasure? Goblin have no treasure. Goblin moron. Don't they have gold and stuff? They, they, bite they like shiny things. No gold. And gold. Can I make a history check? Do I know if goblins are averse to gold and, you know, things of value? Uh, yeah, make a history check. You would uh, know that goblins do like gold. Mm, I don't think so. I think they might like gold. How much do they go? Do I know how much they like gold? No. <laughs> um, the average amount, plus or minus one. Which mean? Artificer. Elaborate. It's like... Help me yes. make a flaming bolt. How many go How oh. many goblins? Come on! Uh, about a dozen? Easy crap. I run in the, I run in the direction where they set the fire. We saw a dozen, right? Uh. I take off. You don't know. Yeah. You just saw. You didn't count them. How many did I would have counted them? 
Would you? If you have two pants, how many would, would you donate? I know. Um, you, you guys immediately turned around. You guys didn't. Oh yeah, I guess yeah, we didn't bother. I did. I... You guys didn't really. Do bother, I know how so... many? At the... Do I know a minimum? You would know there is a minimum at least seven goblins. Do we hear any commotion yet? Uh, <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna wait. Right, is anybody else up to anything? Or I, I'm making a flaming bolt with Pal, yeah, uh, and then heading out. Correct. Okay. We're gonna go then. So no. Goblin Slayer has already ran into the fight. Oh God. Do we want to just leave the cart here? You start uh, hearing voices off down the river. Valerie, put an alarm. We gotta go. It. I give up on the uh, flaming bolt and I cross the river. Go back. Okay. The cart? The cart? <laughs> Preservation of current items. A a tree. It's currently not in a tree, very clearly. I ain't no tree climber. Who's staying at the cart? I'll stay. Oh. I'll stay. All right, three spells. I'll run off right? then. I'll run off too. Let me in the world, you know. So, Corvus, Corvo, tell me about your character. Are you just like not gonna not be my friend in game? Are we gonna be friends in game? Bro, you're playing Portal 2? <laughs> Dude, huh? Are you playing Portal? <laughs> Um, hold on, I gotta turn on, I gotta go offline, <laughs> hold on. What was that about? Uh, what were, he was asking if I was playing Portal 2. Are you playing Portal 2? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so if I try to be friendly with your guy, like, reciprocate? Uh, depends. Because I, let's be honest, I don't know, for the religion question, I don't got an answer for that. There was no choice to pick, and I didn't pick one. So okay. I don't know. I suppose. Though I remember correctly, everyone hated you in the beginning. So I don't know. There's some that. Do did everyone hate me in the beginning? Oh, like everyone when they met you, like who is this guy? Like you just you ran in to you know. So if I'm playing baseball, I guess so. Uh, do you think there's a way to convince your guy to make him like me? Oh, because remember, my character still thinks that you, you guys are the child killers. So he doesn't uh -huh. really like you. So if I bring it up on prompted, do you think he would... <laughs> he'd understand? Oh, they turn or they don't have a turn. Okay. Well, they are fighting like 12 goblins. Maybe they would scream for help. Because, uh, you know, after the, the kids stole from that cut, I, I don't know who they would be. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, come on, guys, let's, let's think about this. After I fired a magic missile into a small, small child. Child's defense? Who knows? Yeah, what's his health pool? These are the important questions we need to ask.
What you up to right now? Playing deck builder, you're playing Gwent. You ever play Witcher 3? Part of it. It's pretty good. It's got a deck builder in there. Isn't that like super old? Yeah. Does it get updated with like new cards or anything? Slice of the sky dragon, my Egyptian gods. Excuse me.
the freak? Where do I go? I blindly jumped out. So, yeah, me. Oh, save this building. Yeah, facility. So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll go. Don't I see that? Hey, orange thing here. Yeah. Okay. Why did I do that? Try not to wreck that. Would you guys like to uh, join? Sure. Okay, you hear some uh, screaming happening, and you guys uh, find yourselves back uh, onto the... Uh... Will we lose our crap if we leave the car? My kid. New kid maybe. Uh, it's up to you. Okay, how dire does it sound? Does it sound like they like, uh, need a lot of help? You just hear some goblins screaming and Goblin Slayer going... Arr! I turned to uh, Corvo. Oh, you Do card. you think... Okay, good yeah, idea. Yeah. 
Can I listen in? Yeah, uh, I'll have you. Do we have uh, to be in a separate call for this? Um. Uh, I'll just. I'll just. Meta gaming Drake. Come on, so you can watch. But Drake, you'll be out of the fight then. I'll be out of the fight. Oh, oh are you going or Don's going? Well, Drake is oh, going, and I'm staying. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, that'll be. Fine. What the hell is this map? What? <laughs> what? Corvo, you'll be a of at the uh, end of this next round coming up. Uh, yeah. That's a lot of barrels. By default. Okay. So I took. Sorry. I took half. No, you're good. Um, I took a half plate, I think, yeah. chainmail, something, and so I have a base AC of sixteen, and then I get a plus one, because uh. In my character, uh, I have a giant list of things that I can infuse, different magical items I can create, but I took the bug standard ones, which um, my three right now, which I should have four, my three right now are Enhanced Defense, Enhanced Arcane Focus, Bag of Holding. I can choose two out of that entire list every single day at the beginning of a long rest, or at the end of a long rest. So this time around, I took... I'm always taking bag of holding because I need to store my shit. I didn't and ask about this. I just wanted to ask about your armor. I, mean, I don't care about the rest. I took armor. What, what is going on? What what in the boat? Why do, why are there? Um, <laughs> oh, did oh, they come to join us? Uh, Reeb's still at the cart, but uh, Corvo is coming into the battle scene at the end of the next battle round. Yeah, we left. A, I left Reeb there because he didn't want to get robbed by a child or something. Apparently. Uh, did, roll the initiative. Again, they're getting molested. Let's do it. Well, they, uh, if, if a child comes by, they're not going to rob us. Or Reeb's going to rob them of the rights. That's why and I left. That's why I left uh, Don Quixote there because he has a nat he's a natural enemy to children. So it's perfect. Okay, so you uh, create your turret, Valerie? Create my turret. I shot my shot. It whiffed. I end my turn. Uh, okay. It was a net one. Make him roll a d100. Oh, yeah. Roll a d100. Uh, yeah. Nothing really happens. What a shame. Wait, where in the map do I enter this? Are you locked in the back? You're you're in the bottom here. Oh, I'm in the bottom. Uh, this map is generally sloping downward, um, as the river flows off to the side. Oh, yeah, I forgot to ask. Because it's sloping downwards, can I? Do I, do I still get the disadvantage at range? I mean, is there a certain yes. range that I lose a disadvantage at because it's sloping downwards? Yeah, your normal range. Even at downward slope, I don't get any advantage, like extra distance. Yes. Oh man. It's not that much of a slope. Why are you locked in the back? Uh, okay, up next, uh, Corvo and Zrown. Okay, well, I suppose since I'm so far away, I'll just move forward towards the tree again. Uh, you can dash. Oh. So, if I'm, I'm in this tree, do I have a vision of the lake? How, how far can I dash? Double your movement as an action. Do I have vision on these guys? No. The cliff's in the way. I'm in the tree? Yes. How do I delete that? Stop making them. I, Stop! I, I'm sorry, I'm I was trying to click on them. Who's this guy in red here? Uh, Damn it. Dot. <laughs> do I, I think I just him? lost one of my goblins, too, because that was my token. Yeah, you God did, damn it. it. You bastard. I was going to have you kill the goblin. No, you didn't. It just made me pissed off. Careful, Tanner, you wouldn't want to piss off the DM. That's how you pretty close. <laughs> anyway, movement is a bonus action, right? Um What? No, movement's free. Okay, movement's free. You can use your action to dash to double your movement. But that's your action for the turn. Alex, and then I cast. Uh, just 
Storm of Arrows on these three. And I also add my uh, my Zephyr Strike damage to it. I, I don't know what the roll is. It's supposed to be. Uh, it's in a weapon attack roll, not a spell roll. Okay, Zephyr's attack oh, is a weapon attack. Storm of Arrows is a spell. Oh. Oh, Zephyr Strike can't be added to it. Then I do Storm of Arrows, and then, uh... uh I suppose my... Um, in a 10-foot area. Okay. Um... Crossbow expert to attack a second time too. Nope. Oh, okay. Never worked. Not if you banger the DM Tanner. Um. Okay. They're gonna make their deck saves. Uh, Twelve, eleven, and eighteen. Uh, roll your damage. Big damage. Three times or just once? Just once. Okay. Uh. Two of them are going to get hit for full, and one's going to get hit for half. Because they say damage is like this. Yep. Why are you like a little higher? You could have just smoothed them. Wait. I can't add Rhyme Swim to Fate Spread, right? Nope. Okay. Because this is a spell. You're you're casting down Rain of Arrows. You're not actually attacking. Okay. Well, nothing else to do, so. As uh, all of them are uh, still alive. And I deleted my token. God fucking damn it. Tanner, what are you doing? You I tried doing to this? click my guy and I clicked the circle thing instead. So I circled my guy. I tried to lift the circle and my mess. token died. You are a mess. Alright, guy was there and I still have 20 feet left to convert. It's the shotgun shells. Uh, okay. Fuck off, Alex. <laughs> anyway, I hide behind And, him. uh, Provid, you've moved, so now it is up, uh, before the turn ends. Um. Uh, the goblin boss is now going to fire. Can I? No, okay, go ahead. <laughs> For 15. Interesting. Not going to hit. No. Okay. Um, at the start of his turn, uh, the Goblin Blast is going to move back to this small little island and uh, resume his stance again. Uh, the Goblin, uh, first up, this pack is. These two are going to uh, move back to this area. Um, I'll say now you guys are coming down the area. They're going to reveal more Hog of War. Hog of War. Hog, Hog Rider! War. Hey. I really can't do this over anything else. Alright, uh, those goblins are going to move back that way. Uh, these goblins are going to move closer over here, and then they are going to... Uh, uh, that's just my roll. Yeah, I guess I can tell you what fate spell you have. Oh, wait, I thought you were just looking good in general. <laughs> I don't. No. No. <laughs> oh, Tanner. That is not. Does it just mean vagina? I don't know. I think he has something to repress. <laughs> That's ah, a. F oh. Tell me. What was that sound effect? I will hate you if you did. 
That was not me. Kareem? It wasn't me. I don't have nitro. You don't hit him with it anyways. It was probably three. God damn it, Preston. <laughs> a gun with one bullet. A, a gun with one bullet. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking Please won. Send me that thread. It's multiple threads, but yes. Um. Uh, so basically, Valerie, you're the. Okay, these guys are gonna fire their. These guys are gonna fire there, these guys are gonna fire there, and these guys are gonna fire. So Valerie, you're gonna get, get some uh get some attacks here. Can I use my reaction to cast shield? Um yes, once the attack uh happens. Oh red. Um so it's gonna be these two attacks first. Oh, yeah. So ten. Hit and a twenty. So you're gonna 20. use your reaction here. I will use my reaction. Okay. Do you know what twenty rhymes with? Fuck you, Danner. <laughs> Danner, I thought you wanted to die. I, I guess Danner is in love with it. You can't get uh, off of Okay, uh, Zran, you're going to <laughs> take this next three attacks. Seventeen. I do rock. Seventeen hits. Okay. Take five piercing damage. Uh, nat twenty. Obviously hits. Can't really get fucked up again, even on a different character. Uh, you're gonna get <laughs> fourteen Max damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you pissed him off, Danny. <laughs> Uh, He'd be dead. And uh, 16. Does not. Er, if I have 16 AC, does that go through or not? Uh, meet or exceed, so yeah. Or is it just exceed? No, it's meet or exceed. It's meet or exceed? Okay, yeah, so that's gonna hit. Yes. Take damage. <laughs> Another. <laughs> 27 it's damage in there. It it's not loading. Total. What? No, it's not loading. What is it? It was 16. You, you took 27 damage total. You took 16. You took a 5, a 14, and an 8. Uh, that's 27. Sorry, 3 HP. Okay! Wow, I was, um... You got goblins. You got those goblins. Yeah, good job, goblins. Why is it the only time they get good rolls is on fucking me? And then, uh, you're going to get these attacks. I'm gonna get more? Nope, not you. Um, the drug. <laughs> uh, 23? Just, just beat a corpse. Or, or am I in range of? Five. Okay. 18? Well, I'm more than 60 yeah, feet out. Shouldn't they get disadvantage on shortbow? Another five? <laughs> 22. Oh, man. <laughs> Three, so you're going to get 13 damage. 13. Oh, that's not too bad. Alright, up next, the Goblin Slayer. Oh. What does she? What does she? I don't like to look at that barrel. They're all there. Again, you can. Wait, are they backing up and shooting? Yeah. The fucking cowards. <laughs> I mean, I Again, did that. Apparently, I was can, still in range. You can hold and move your character, right? And then you can hold right mouse button for a distance too. So you don't have to measure it and then try to ah, place your character on the self. That's nice. That's nice. Ah, it also just scrolls my page though, which is a problem. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who are we trying to fuck up here? Is the goblin boss at the, like, well, the edge of the water? Yeah, hold on uh, one second. Oh no, Ethan, don't do it. Uh, the Goblin Blast is going to release his spell that he's been holding. Um, and, uh, fire off. Good thing there's trees between me and him, right? 
Oh, he's not uh, going for you. 17 either. is going to hit as he rolled a uh, dexterity saving throw to hit me, Goblin Slayer. Fuck me, dude. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, uh, one second. Oh, not that barrel. Ah, there we go. Uh, you're going to take 16 fire damage oh, as the barrel like... next to you explodes. Oh, there it is. Good. Oh, you know, do I get knocked back at all? This is why stealth is a good thing. Do I get knocked back at all, Ethan? Uh, no. Alright. Uh, I am going to go... And then, also, this area... Uh, let me focus you a bit. Is now uh, a small crater. Uh, all right. Well, it's gonna be a disadvantage, but we're gonna make a javelin throw at Goblin Boss. Okay. This will be your third javelin. Yep. Or fourth. Third. Third. Okay. Uh, thirteen is not going to hit. Oh. Advantage is killing me. Uh, okay. Up next is Grug. Wait, can After... I do my intimidating shot from earlier? Am I, allowed, am I allowed to do that at all? Is the bonus action? Uh, no. Uh, that'd be like a regular action, I think. Uh, what are what are you gonna say? I'll I'll determine on that. I was just gonna let out like a guttural roar. Okay, do your best guttural roar. Let me see. I'm out screaming in home. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> what? Nigga, what? Just a gruggle of war. Uh, I will say with just a gruggled roar. Um, roll, 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 a, uh, roll intimidation. See how loud. Ram a lamb. Bang a ring. Yay. Yay. 11? Dude. Yeah, okay. Um. They're not really intimidated. This is rough. Up next is Valerie. Oh, me. Whoa. Oh, yeah, wait, sorry. Greg, up. Oh. Yep. Yep. What are you up to, Greg? Yeah, scrolling through. Oh. No, I, okay, I just hit right-click once. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Um, oh, yeah, you anyways. have to hold left and then right. With your character, you can't yeah. do them at the same so, time. So, um, do you see my measuring stick? No. Out of curiosity, no. Okay. Well, I'd like to move about here. Uh, okay. That work? Uh, yeah. Sweet. Doesn't that yeah, mean you use so that's dash? My turn. Yep, that's it. Uh, don't you have another 10 feet because you have 30 feet of movement? Or do you only have 25? Uh, I think I only have 25. I'm a big boy. Remove the fog okay. of war, Ethan. You can uh, now see them. Nope. They are hidden. Well. Uh, yep. You know, I'm curious. Which ones were the ones and that... And you don't have... Yeah, no one has a passive perception. High enough. Damn. It's a ram. Okay. Well, considering his turn turn is over. Valerie, uh, you're up. That does that does in fact make it my uh, turn. With the explosion, um a reed, do you want to go into battle? There was an explosion. Big explosion that you definitely heard. Hey. Okay. Do do I hear the scream still? Uh yeah. Do they sound like they need help? <laughs> That's you entirely up to your character to decide. How guttural is the scream? Is it like yeah or no? from Goblin Slayer. Okay, I take a moment to think aloud. 
if I leave the cart and it gets robbed, are they going to blame it on me? I'm not going to come. <laughs> I'm not going to get yelled at for leaving the cart alone. Okay. I'm not going to go. Okay. Uh, considering, my eyes, considering my eyes are practically in line with the line that I'm making right here, is yep. there a clear line of sight? Uh, that barrel? Oh. Yeah, I would say so. Cool. I'm going to move my turret right here. Um, 15 feet. Uh, okay. And I am going to... Right here. Yep. I'm going oh. to uh, make it ready in action to attack this barrel if the, gob if the goblins get within this range. Uh, okay. Would that be a bonus action or an action? That would be an action to hold an action. Okay. Killing in the name of... Okay. And uh, then uh, I will then move my character. Yeah, I guess it would be your bonus action to make it do an action to hold... Man, the turret having like an action, uh, bonus action attack. It's a little, a little goofy. Anyway. Uh, yeah, well, go ahead. I'm going to move there. Okay. Uh, there. Yep. And I'm going to cast, um, Firebolt on the boss. Uh, okay. In that case, let me... Firebolt. Fuck. An eight is, uh, not going to hit. <laughs> Man. Uh, I end my turn. <laughs> okay. Corvo, you're up. That red oh. guy is, is that Tanner's new character? That's yeah. Ram. Yeah. Yeah, it's Ram. Okay. With three <laughs> HP, baby. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Where's right, uh, I will run and dash all the way up here. And wait, where's press? There he is. Uh, with the destroyed area, it would be considered uh, uneven terrain, so it would be double movement to walk through it. Okay, so as long as I don't walk through that yep. red circle there. Okay. okay. Um, the Goblin boss is going to go back into his stance. Wait, what if it robs you from the different side of the thing? Fuck. Uh, Uh, these two goblins are going to run up and make their scimitar attacks against you. Uh, 21. That hits. Uh, you're going to take 6 points of slashing. And another 22. <laughs> I've been rolling the shits today. Shit. And another 8. So 14 damage in total. 14 damage total. And then they are going to disengage and go back to where they were. Wait, what? Uh, goblins can use their use disengage and hide as a bonus action. Oh, that's crazy. Man, if only we had stealth. Uh, up next are these goblins over here. They're going to shoot their longbows at uh, Valerie. Oh. Oh. Yeah, my uh, day. 22. Uh, hits. Okay. I'm going to take 5 points of uh, piercing and 20. There it's. Uh, wow. The last few rolls have been 21, 22, 22, and 20. This is some kind of sick game, Ethan. Yeah, this is a pretty sick game. And a 14 doesn't Welcome hit. to the dungeon. So you'll take 11 damage. Uh, and then uh, this troop of goblins are going to make their bow attacks against you. Uh, 
Me? Uh, no, sorry, uh, uh, Grug. Uh, so 23 is going to hit. <laughs> And you'll take five piercing. Only two. <laughs> oh no! I, I legitimately have not been doing anything else. Uh, sure, that's uh, Yeah, like, this is standard four. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the goblins are then going to go back to uh, uh, hiding. So that's uh, 13 damage? Uh, yeah. Damn. Maybe they're fine. Um, <laughs> and uh, Valerie, you can see these goblins over here with your passive perception. But everybody else cannot oh. see the goblins hiding. Right. Uh, over here, am I, am I able to I call out using yeah. my reaction? Right. Goblins over there. And point. Uh, yeah. If I actually have cool. to... say it, say in the voice. Goblins uh, over there. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Oh, oh everybody's yeah. Over here. Goblins over here. Um, I'm gonna say that yeah, that removes their stealth. Uh, okay. Valerie, are there goblins over there? Yeah. And then these batch of goblins are going to shoot Goblin Slayer. Fuck you. What? Oh. Yeah, you then? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What? I'm, okay, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna roll these You're dead. goblins like on <laughs> disadvantage. <laughs> I Like with like a dice instead of just auto stuff. I don't know. The machine hates. That's a 21 also. <laughs> Ethan, if the group were to retreat, would the goblins pursue Likely them? Not I don't know. Can anyone make a history check? <laughs> With range? Yeah. yeah that, that barrel hit me for 17 damage. We use stealth. Tanner, shut the fuck up! Like I can actually use stealth in this character. I'm literally not allowed to based on the design. You charge? Yeah, cause I have to. I literally have to by the bounds of my character. Retard, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, you fuck um, up. Do you see but, a like poorly yeah. barrel bounce all uh towards a botch of goblins? Would that trigger it? Yeah. Roll for an attack. Fuck yeah. An attack against a barrel. Attack against a barrel. All right, it it's hits a 17 it. hit. Yes, it does. Um. Uh, yeah, that will do. Probably take 15 damage. Uh, let me see if they make their deck saves. Uh, that one will. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna take half damage. You know, I don't know if we've played this wrong, but I have a feeling we certainly played the die wrong. I, I don't know. I mean, given their attack stats, this would normally work perfectly fine. I mean, I was gonna heal myself next turn, which would have lasted, well, should have lasted me, like, you know, another three turns. Um, of getting shot at, but instead it, I didn't even get to heal myself. Uh, goblins. <laughs> I'm down. Roll a, uh, roll a, um... Alright. <laughs> hey, uh, Reeve, you're magically, um, on the battlefield right behind this ram at the moment. <sighs> okay. Whoa! Got uh, 
one magically appeared at the battlefield because everyone else was caught up in the fighting and they didn't hear his dis internal monologue about saving uh, his comrades. Oh man, you're desperately Shut needed. Down. Apparently. Oh, anyway, do uh, we have to like go for the kill or can we like you know? If you think you could drag, you know, like attack and dead, leave. Maybe. Okay, we'll go for a defensive situation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is taking cover a thing, by the way? Uh, with the explosion of this barrel, this barrel rolled oh, down the hill good. next to these goblins by chance. Oh, that's a save. Good job. Save. This barrel. Uh, this barrel uh, no, happened to get dislodged by the explosion and uh, accidentally rolled down uh, the hill somehow. Anyway, Mallory. Correct. Where am I in the turn order? Uh, you are at the end here. Wait, why am uh, I in next to Krovit? I just feel like oh. I haven't gone in a while. Oh yeah. What the fuck? Oh, you must have. Oh, you deleted your character, so it deleted your turn initiative. Oh, just roll again. Uh, yeah, just re-roll okay, again. Uh, you'll be in front of Alex. Yeah. Okay. Did I miss like two turns or something? You might have missed one. Anyway, do I have eyes on that you, barrel? I'll, yeah, I'll have you do a double turn here. Do I have eyes on that barrel? Uh, not at this angle. You'd yeah. have to step out a little bit. Now? Yeah. Oh. Why don't I see you in the turn initiative? I rolled. Anyway, I shoot it. With my gun. Um, Come again? we could just have him go before me whenever it's my turn. That's easier. That hits. I hit the barrel. Uh, just shoot a normal bolt into a barrel. Well, I cast rhyme. Well, first off, would a normal bolt blow it up, or do I need to cast rhyme stream to it? Hold on. Can't imagine normal bull blow it up. Hey, would you I'm would not you under the that? impression it would. That worked because Tanner doesn't know how to create his character. Got him, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> Grenade! <laughs> Where's the dragon to suddenly uh, help us out? That works. You want me to go? So, nope, not your turn. Just read through Prime Storm. Okay, uh, it's an ice attack. Ice to blow up gunpowder. It has happened before. More importantly, it's an ice AOE explosion. Uh, I'm going to say the ice attack won't blow up the barrel, but the explosion. Explosion will do its additional damage towards the other enemies in the area. Then can I aim at the goblin instead of the barrel, or am I just it hits the go the barrel? Um, yeah, if you want to, I mean, it's going to be a hard shoot, but uh, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Why accidentally hit Drake. What? Hold on, it's not supposed to do that much damage. No, it does um, 1d8. Whenever yeah. you click on that, it's rolling an attack. Alright, so do I roll no. damage or just roll 1d8? Uh... Yeah, roll a 1d8. And this for, will be the extra. Goblin, or, yeah, for the extra. Um, it'll, be, it'll be same for both. Um, I rolled again for the extra. <laughs> one d eight. Did you roll your crossbow damage? Oh, I thought that was. Oh wait, no, that's accuracy. Good. I'm trying to remember how to actually roll it. It's damage, so you have to just roll the damage of the crossbow. Yeah, no, I, that's fine. I'm trying to remember. Okay. Uh, they're going to make their deck saves. Uh, ten and fifteen. One d four plus four. Hmm. 
Okay, roll that. Okay, Are with <laughs> five and three damage, uh, the first one is going to die. Um, and the second one's uh, second one's going to die also. Uh, but the third one is going to live. Oh, then I jump back behind the rock. Is there a cover mechanic? I thought I read about cover being a thing. You get like uh, plus two AC. Uh, well, it depends the on the area. cover. Okay. Um, I would, yeah, that that would provide you like a quarter cover. So I think it's like ten AC. All right, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, Valerie, you're up, or not Valerie? Uh, Corvo. Wait, what? Uh, what what happened you... to my turn? What? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, Valerie, go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm guessing this barrel is gone. Uh, the barrel next to the goblins on the left side. Um, no, he didn't target it. It's, he changed his target to being the goblin. Because cold damage doesn't set stuff on fire for some reason. It, Interesting. I don't think you realize how volatile black powder is. Sure. Pouring alcohol on it detonates it at times. Sure. I'm going to. That's what. You know what? Well, it's true. Yeah, that's you know, that is what the hammer's for in a um, black powder rifle, after all. I'm gonna have the turret walk five feet. Uh, okay. It's Did now an uneven down? terrain. That is okay. Okay. I'm gonna have the turret target boss. Uh, okay. Roll for an attack. Does 13 hit? No. 13 does not hit. Bitch. <laughs> is okay. Jason still down? Yes. I'm going to go up to Jason and okay. use Cure Wounds. Go for it. Casting at level 1. Even though I still right. maintain rage because goblins are still alive? Nope. Um, you would have to re-rage. This would be an action to rage, or a bonus action to rage manually. I would like to rage. So if I get incapacitated during a fight with goblins and I get picked up, I don't re-rage automatically from Frenzy? Frenzy doesn't mm. work. Because, like, you start raging, you're, you're, like, in the initial frenzy to kill goblins, but then being picked up, you have to, like, re-slap yourself. Okay. And plus, rage is just a bonus action. But then you get, like, all the benefits, still. Alright. Um... Okay, so cover is half cover, three quarters cover, and total cover. Uh, half cover gives you plus two, and then three quarters give you plus five AC. So you would have plus two AC behind that cover. Um, you ran. Got it. Uh, up next, Corvo. All right, let's go. Um, can I use my crossbow to shoot? Actually, let me move. Let me position myself. I walk forward. Uh, to do. Can I teleport behind the MacGuffin person? Yeah. I got a hand crossbow, the, the, the dude on the far left, the next guy that you led there. Oh, this guy over here? Yeah, go for it. Um, that's 21. Yeah, 21 will hit. Roll for damage. Okay. Uh... All right. How do you? How does the goblin go down? Straight through, uh, between the uh, the eyes, through the head. Through the head. Through the head. Here, though. It's a you really powerful hand crossbow. Yunk. As it goes deep into the goblin skull as he collapses down. Wait, what was the contact behind all the goblins here from here? We just found them, so now they're killing me. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. Uh, up next is Dawn. Are you going to draw the X on him? 
Oh, yeah. Dawn. Yes. Would you like to still be here? Uh, if the cart gets robbed, is it on me? Go back to the pit one way. Reeve, are you studying right now and you don't want to play? No, I oh. I like the last time we got robbed, you know, like everyone got mad at me. Yeah, I'll get mad at you, don't worry. Okay, okay. Why walking's not a bonus action, oh, right? For... I can walk up to thirty yeah. feet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna walk forward it's right here. I'm gonna wanna walk up to here. Let's do the circle real quick. Thirty feet. Jason's down, oh, Valerie's sure. up. You got picked up. Okay. Who should I bless? I cast bless on Valerie, uh, Zram, and Corvo. Uh, okay. And my bonus action, I cast. What is this called again? The spiritual weapon. Okay. With uh, bless, guys, uh, you get. Um, a D4 added to attack rolls, saving throw, uh, saving throws, uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, attack rolls and saving throws, you get an extra D4. And who did we bless? Not you. Like the three around you. Okay. Valerie, Drake, and Saran. Okay, and then Ernst will go on, uh, I think Polka Dot there? All right. Up next is Goblin Boss as he is going to take his fire action and he's going to he's going to attack Corvo. All right. Uh, does a six hit? Uh, is he a sixteen? No, I guess not. Uh, as the Goblin Boss is then again going to hold his uh, action once again. Oh, this is bad. Uh, these goblins are going to fire their shots at you, uh, Drake. Alright. Uh, it's going to be a 10 and a 7. Both don't hit. Uh -huh. It seems like if they don't work, if the luck up for them doesn't work against Drake, the one with even more bullshit luck. Uh, Drake is the ultimate counter. Trump card. This fucking Trump card. <laughs> My god. Uh, these guys are gonna make their attacks against you, Valerie. That's not 65 feet, is it? They, don't they fire with disadvantage? Like a nope. Action, right? Short bow is 80. 80? Uh, 10, 9, and 10. There's the opposite. Uh, and then oh, yeah. Are going to be these guys, and they're going to shoot Drake. Does it hit Corvo? Eleven, Nat twenty. Twenty-four. Let's go. You're going to take uh, ten points of piercing damage. Every like go around is like six seconds, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so if they have it for one minute. Uh, so yeah, you take 10 damage there, Drake. Okay. And then uh, the goblins are going to back up over here uh, to the fire. Uh, these guys are going to say the same, and these guys are going to say the same. Goblin Slayer, you're up. Oh, well, oh I am hesitant because I feel like as soon as I walk up to do anything, I'm going to get my ass handed to me. We could retreat. Based on how my character works, the I figure. He's like still down that way. Someone knock him out and don't pick him up. I want to throw the we'll barrel. Just drag him back. Really, as soon as I try to pick up the barrel, this fucker's gonna shoot the barrel. <laughs> I will use my last javelin to make a javelin attack on Cockboy Goblin Boss. All right, go for it. What the fuck, dude? Uh, roll, roll, roll D one hundred. Okay. Four plus two. Oh, um, Grug, make a roll. All right. Wait, I still got my move. 
is an option. Right? Oh, yeah, sorry. Can I move? Yeah, fucking book it. Now. I saw him. I gave it to our center. Yeah, if it Where doesn't, he it? has to play leather. And can you imagine <laughs> he had a D4 addition? Jeez. Alright, we're going far. Uh. Oh, uneven terrain. That's right. Do double movement. We're going like here then? You would be you'd be moving twenty feet there, so yeah, like there. Can I have cover against like this group of three and the goblin boss then with the tree line? Uh, Cower in their bodies. I, I mean, I check it out, bro. Like, that's through yeah. the trees. Yeah, yeah, you can you can have movement. Yeah. Perfect. All right, roll one. Alright. Nice. Hey, that's two pluses. Valor, you're up. Oh my god. 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 Yeah, boss think, time. Can I rage? You didn't I know I fucked up. Oh yeah, Ra you raged. Rage Thank you. My soldiers. Uh twenty-five is going to hit. Finally. Better. Uh, roll damage. Thirteen. Thirteen force damage. That's nice. Uh, he'll make his. Uh. Okay, it's not so. Um. He's gonna make his deck save. Uh, he'll pass, so he's not going to be pushed. Um. Yeah, he'll take thirteen damage. Very cool. Wait, Ethan, I have a question. And then. Yep. I remember. I just remember I had this. I'm not gonna play it now, of course. But would this have would this have applied to the barrel earlier? What? Oh. Uh, danger sense. I'm gonna move here. Oh yeah, you would. Ah, <laughs> fuck me, dude. Yeah, that would have uh, given you advantage. Uh, where do you move, Valor? I move uh 25 feet up. Past the barrel. <laughs> this? And then, Are you yep. This? Yes. Move one to your. You should move like five more feet. Oh, uh, Valerie, uh, oh, make here. a dexterity saving throw. You should go like that. Uh, I'll, let you, I'll you let, know let you what's... renege. Alex, go, I... like, right, go like right here. This is like in the tree to cover. Holy! Oh, are you are you going through with it, or I'll tell you if you want to renege. Oh, yeah, I mean, did you did you did you want me to? Wait, wasn't I supposed to go? I'll I'll re I'll renege. <laughs> no, you're up next. No, you're okay. after. Okay, you're after. Whatever. In that case, I'm just gonna fuck, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. On the battlefield. <laughs> right here, right now. Alex, with who? To the tree. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move five feet over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right firebolt. That was such a pained laugh. Uh, 12 will not hit. Well, damn. Graham, you're up. End my turn. I swear, guy, if we go back to the cart, it's fucking gone. Don Quixote, you're gonna get fucked up. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the party, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over and give a heart attack as they burn your contract. Just fucking drop dead. Oh my lord. Zran? Yeah, Rhyme Sword counts as a spell, right? Yes. You have three? Oh, you do have three. Yeah. Uh, did you use that first strike yet? I haven't added the extra damage to it yet. Oh, oh okay. You, you still have Zephyr strike, by the way. I should have just used Zephyr strike. Yeah. Um, it just gives you more damage. It doesn't really do anything.
Actually, each one is like this. Does it have one? Thirty-one. All right. Do I see the three goblins uh, left of the Lord? Actually, better yet, do I see the Lord from here? Um. Through yeah. the trees. Yeah, you could you could get this shot. All right. <laughs> Zephyr strike crossbow. Uh, okay. This is going to be at disadvantage. I don't know how to incorporate that. So just minus two from my roll. No, you just roll twice. Oh. So roll another one. Well, it's already you already looked at yours. Did you get it? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, if you just walked up a little bit, I think you would have lost a disadvantage. Not at all. No, it's thirty feet. Uh, yeah, crossbows are only 30 feet? And sure. crossbows. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, that does actually give me an extra 30 points of movement speed. Uh, oh, you, you, you have advantage, but then it would be disadvantage. So they cancel out, so you still have the first roll, which is a 12. So no matter what, it misses. Yeah. Well, activating it still gives me the extra 30 movement. Does that mean I can just hop up on the cliff now? Sure. I'll take uh, cover behind the tree, but I, I'm guessing since it's difficult to Well, you terrain, have 60 movement right now, by the way. 35 plus 30, so... Yep. I take cover in the tree. Okay, I'll hop up on the hill. <laughs> Actually, can I use my bonus action to cast my stealth spell, or would that not work here? Uh... Or, sorry, uh yeah. It's not really a spell, but... That would be to hide, so no, that would be an action. Hold on one second. Oh, you haven't had Misty Step, by the way. But, yeah. I haven't used it. Uh, well, I guess you can use my bonus action to do that, then. Yeah. Wait, no, wait, doesn't my... What was it? Uh, ignore the alerting quality just give me a new whatever that was? Yeah. By the way, I'm now up here. I am hidden. Is there anything I could do to heal? Uh, my bonus action, like take a potion, or is that a thing? Nope. Wait, you don't have any You action. don't have any potions. Uh, you don't have any actions. I would, uh. Yeah, yeah sure. It'd be nice if you had potions. I'm just here, then. Alright, Co Corvo, you're up. Alrighty. Oh, uh, you would have. Plus 1d4, too. Oh, yeah, you have plus 1d4. Roll, roll 1d4. Me? Yeah, because you have bless. Oh, do I have bless, too? Yeah, you, you guys oh, have bless. Enter my hit. You might hit. No. He will not hit. <laughs> Damn, Tanner, no pussy <laughs> for you. No pussy. Still a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still busy. Uh, Corvo, you're up. Alright, now it's my turn. <laughs> you look so distraught for me saying that. Uh, it's unmanly for me to be cold. So I'm gonna be like, bam. And then I'll take a, sh take a crossbow shot at this guy. Fuck. He starts killing in the name of. Is that an action you want to take? Why you say it like that? Just, just make a chair. Is there something else I can do? No. Right. You, you wanna, you wanna move up there and shoot? Well, I mean, I, what else can I do? Uh, yeah, just saying. Just, just saying. Just asking. You're psyching me out, man. Yeah, probably am. I need uh, a, I need a yes or no. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, Drake, make a dexterity saving throw as... Oh, sorry. In the range of the barrel. Oh, hold on one second. I cast a spell. Alright, Drake, make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. As the barrel behind you explodes. Uh, also, you Explode have plus 1d4, you. but you make it, so... Okay, so I'm fine. Uh, no. Uh, you, uh, still can... <laughs> no. Oh, do I need to roll the d4? No, you take half damage. 
you take seven points of fire damage as the barrel behind you explodes as you run up to your spot. Okay. Yep. So uh, now, Is if it... you want to do a crossbow attack, go ahead. Let me just take the shot. Can't you use uh, blast on the saving throw? It doesn't matter. The saving throw okay. just has a damage. Yep. Yeah, I'll do a, ah. a d4 for the, for the shot. Uh, which goblin are you shooting? Um, that one? Uh, yep, that hits. And yeah, eight damage pierces it. Um, as it gets a crossbow bolt through the shoulder, but it is still standing. Wait, I took seven damage, you said? Yep. Yeah, seven piercing right there. Alrighty. Is that, is that your turn? All right, Dylan, you're up. I realize I made a character hoot. I I cast dazzle on the the Goblin King. Uh, okay. Hold on. I don't have it in my spell sheet. Dang. Uh, just pretend that's dazzle. Yep. Uh, I'm reading it. So it's gonna take a charisma saving throw. A seven, so it's going to lose it. Um, it has disadvantage on its next attack. Or uh, grants advantage on the next attack made against it, whichever comes first. Um, would a history check use a turn or an action? Uh, depends on what you're trying to do. Do I know... If there's anything that goblins are specifically afraid of or averse to. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make your uh, saving throw. Uh, check. History check. Yeah. H is for hobgoblin. You, you're not entirely certain on, like, what. You, you know that goblins do get scared from some things, but you're not sure what they're scared about. All right. I suppose I moved my spiritual weapon right next to Valerie. Okay. 20 feet. Is that 20? A little, little up next to Valerie. Okay. And then I have my turn. Uh, the guy on boss is going to get back into his stance. Uh, up next are uh, these two goblins here. They are going to run up, make their scimitar attacks. Uh, a 20 against uh, Corvo. Okay. Uh, I guess that hits. <laughs> it take five slashing, and then the second attack, which is going to be a seven. And then they're going to go back to their air as they disengage from the fight. All right, up next are the goblins to the right. Uh, they're going to make their attacks against Valerie. What? An 18? Yeah, Val. Can I use shield? Yeah. No, die. I use so you... shield. Okay. Uh, 9 and 19. All going to miss because of shield. Very good. Uh, and then these three goblins are going to make their short bow attacks against uh, Corvo. Uh, I'm going to roll for this. Uh, no. Okay, they're going to make their attacks against Corvo here. Uh, a 22. No, Ethan, don't bring it back. <laughs> I should never come here. A 14. <laughs> never should have come here. 14 yeah. Minutes, or it doesn't yeah. hit. Yeah. Six minutes of Nope, doesn't hit. And twenty. Hit. So you're gonna take eight damage. What are you at now? One. One. Oh yeah, you're a beefy guy. Yeah, I took a, a feat to get Goblin the Slayer. Um, you're up. 
You are in rage. You must take damage or deal an attack. Stay in rage. I missed a rage. If I'm going past my allies, can I go right in front of the goblins at 25 feet? The yeah. two goblins? Alright. Can I make a sweeping attack on the two goblins? Yeah, go for it. Alright. Uh, let me see. Great axe. Sweeping attack, huh? Yes. I'll hit both of them. Sweet. Where's your broom? Mr. Sweeper. What, what do you mean by sweeping attack? Like, I want to hit them. I want to, like, swing horizontally, hit them both with the axe. Uh, you, 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 how cool is it? Describe how cool it is. Ethan, it is epic. Well, like, like Grim Reaper epic style, is, bro. Everything freezes and then slides. You ever, you ever seen, a, what was that called? Forge and Fire? It's like, the, it's like that one test where they trip, test the sharpness and they cut everything in half. <laughs> what do you say as you make your attack against them? Uh, yeah. Heat will kill. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah, you'll make the sweeping attack against both goblins and you'll hit them both as you chop them straight through. Uh, uh. Putting, severing them from top to bottom as they both go down. Blow them to that just happened. With the, with my bonus action, can I go for intimidation again, but hit a uh, bodybuilder pose? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> he has a fucking JoJo flex pose that just actually most muscular. <laughs> most muscular. <laughs> fucking pillar man. Is plus six your intimidation? Uh, this is this works off strength. Uh, plus six is not it. My this yeah, intimidation plus. is. Plus one, so this would be an, an 18. 18. Okay. They'll roll their charisma saving throws. Nope. Nope. And nope, they are intimidating. Let's go! <laughs> you got him, it's finally working out. Grug! Oh, yeah. Making my roll. Most muscular. <laughs> Ooh. Two out. saves, one loss. Most musculars are great. Alright, Valor, you're up. If I do get all three saves, it just stabilizes me, right? Yeah, you're, you're fine. But you're not up. I'm gonna move my ass behind this tree. <laughs> behind the tree. Alright. I'm gonna lean out. Actually, before I move my ass from behind the tree, I'll, I'll do my ballista attacks first. Alright, go for it. Uh... Boss. No. Nope. Uh, Can you stop that gun? Uh, I keep fucking up. I'm trying to keep this off. 22 will hit. Um. As, um. I mean, wait. Just, I'll actually know my turret doesn't get it. But I'm about to bolt right after if he doesn't die. Uh, okay. Um, as the blast goes off, uh, the boss and this goblin are going to switch places as the attack will ripple through the uh, goblin, kicking his ass backwards as he uh, goes limp into the water. That's funny. I'm gonna uh, the firebolt. With an extra thing. Okay. At the boss. <laughs> uh, 21 will hit. And he will take a fire to the chest. Uh, this will be on... Okay, so the turret will take the advantage attack with the dazzle. Um, but a 22 is already going to hit. Uh, mm -hmm. But a 21 is also going to hit too. So the dazzle effect's gone. Interesting. Nice. Uh, do you want to move? In that case, I move behind the tree. Alrighty. Up next is Corp. Uh, Zram. Zram. Zam. Zam. Zam him up. Slam Zam. I, I really want to do a quick uh, suicide hello. attack. I really want to do a quick suicide attack. What? Why? 
Do you want to fucking Where's kill yourself? I want to Misty Step and do a double attack. Wait, no, Misty Step is my bonus. Damn, can't Misty Step into them. Yeah. Oh, it was almost a mistake just to come up this cliff. Glad we got up here today. Hey, if I'm on top of the cliff, uh, what you call it, and they're 40 feet away, would that technically be 30 feet away because of height, or can't deal with that because it's a fast one? No, I'm yeah. just, I'm, I'm a purist. I'm just saying, it's going to be the shame. Uh, Unless it's like a, a very good advantage. That's a good Nikolai accent. I admire that. <laughs> uh, this is going to be, just so you know, this is going to be um, hard terrain. And then you're going to have to come down the mountain, which is going to take uh, an extra. It's going to cost double, so it's going to be 10. It's going to be double to get through here, plus 5. So it's going to be 30 just to get there. 30 just to get there. Got it. Do I have range on the leftmost goblin? Uh, thirty-five eyes. Yeah. I do not have that. Okay. What do you? Uh, you have bless you also. Yep. Okay. I've Go for it. Twice so far, so I think I'm not very far. Uh, you still have bless, by the way, so you have a D four. Uh, twenty-one's going to hit. <laughs> Roll for damage. Uh, ten damage. Yeah, the, it, it sinks deep into this goblin's chest as it drops like a sack of potatoes down to the ground. Good shit. That's what I'm gonna say. Dear God. Would you say that? I said, dear God. Corvo, oh. you're up. That's what Taylor All goes righty. to the bathroom. <laughs> Like the shit, just the toilet. Oh god. My um. Shit, this is gonna be super fun. I guess I'll move up here, and then I'll take out the uh, the guy right here. He's which one? Fucked up. Pinky. There you go. That one. Right. Yeah, go for it. Fuck. There it goes. An eight is not going to hit. Uh, well, you have bus still, so throw a d4 on there. Oh? Okay. Ooh, big, big. Come on, Drake, get your luck in there. Uh, fucking the measure tool's in the way. Get out of the way. Uh, oh, 10 is not going to hit. Oh my god. Ah. Put the measure tool away! Alright, do you have any other actions you want to do? Nope. Everything I... I'm so where's all your blood magic? Dead. Uh, it's only, only works against the Fae, the Fiend, and the Undead. Oh. Really? Well, I mean, it's Radiant. Radiant doesn't really do anything, does it? If you're the it, under, if, if it's an Undead, if you hit Undead creature. Uh, it does extra against Undead, yeah. I'm pretty sure, but it, does, yeah. it still does normal damage against any other creatures. Yeah. Correct. That would be kind of retarded if you could only use it against three... Oh, so, well, how much does that... It just does its normal damage. It just it has... I don't say for resistance no bonus. to radium, they just does your normal rolls. Yeah. So, so yeah, use your blood maledict or your blood curse next turn then. Fair enough. Well, you can use your blood curse still, since it's a bonus action. Can I? Hold on. Yeah, yeah so you can mark an enemy 60 feet away. I'll use my bonus action then. I'll mark the uh, same guy I just shot at. Okay. So do I, I don't think I need to roll for that. What's right? on your shirt? Nope. Uh, you just mark him. So okay. he is now marked. So any damage you deal with the crimson stuff, uh, double. Squawking. Wait. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering why you weren't doing your stuff. <laughs> 
think I misunderstood what it meant. Um, yeah. Drink. Think of it in terms of Baldur's Gate. Don, <laughs> yep. I, well, I never played Blood Knight in Baldur's Gate. Really? Don Quixote. Quixote. I don't know how the damage works in that game. It's very similar. Don Quixote. In that game, if I make it radiant damage instead, it doesn't really change the damage. Walks forward. Well, he walks forward? No way. Straight up. I cat Don Quixote de la Mancha casts. Does the goblin, like king, whatever the frick his name is, boss, does yeah. he have an item in his hand to do his attacks? No, he is just in a stance right now. Okay, so I can't cast disarm. Ah, because it's because it's a giant steel and smart. Okay. Erm. Um, I don't know much enough about goblins to do that, so. I move my spiritual weapon 20 feet forward. You should be able to move it. That was 20 feet, right? Yeah, I move it 20 feet forward. Mm -hmm. I can't use this. Could I use Dazzle again? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can Credit. use Dazzle. Okay, I use Dazzle on him. Uh, okay, he's going to make his Charisma saving throw. Hit him with a Drazzle Dazzle. Five, so he's going to be now Dazzled. Back to being Dazzled, baby. Yeah, end my turn. Okay. At the end of his turn, uh, the Goblin boss is going to gurgle something in Goblin. Gurgle some cock. And he a freak. As he's going to release his uh, Firebolt at these barrels over here. Uh, but it's going to be at a disadvantage since he is goblin. Maybe goblin. Nothing but a fucking goblin. It's going to be an 8 and an 8. Uh, that's going to hit. Uh, oh, uh, well, give me one second. Uh, the firebolt is not going to hit, uh, and he is no more uh, on his turn. He's going to then once again cast uh, firebolt and attack the uh, barrels head on. And with a ten, they're going to hit. it's going to hit and it's going to explode. Um, As uh, Goblin Slayer, you're gonna get caught up in the blast. That still hits me, bro. There are uh, three Ooh, barrels. That one's destroyed. These barrels. Hold up, my mouse, not the barrels. Oh, there's still a three barrel. Damn it. Uh, so roll. Um, deck I save. Got advantage though. Yep. Please. Sixteen will save. I'm still gonna go fucking down if you roll too much. You get five damage. <laughs> I'm still down on that. <laughs> that was exactly enough to put me down. Zam. Damn. As this area is encased um, in rubble. Rubble. Um, actually, with three barrels going off, I think I'm going to say everybody... Uh, how far would I say? Oh my god! Um, huh? This is Ram <laughs> and Corval. Where are these? Are barrels? Make a drop the nuclear holocaust. Saving throw from being deafened. No. And the goblin's going to do the same. If you have blessed, yes. you can add bless the con saving throws. You can. Uh, he's going to save. Save includes me, yeah? Yep. You're saved. And, and me? You saved. Uh, uh roll. D4. Okay, you're saved. Let's <laughs> okay. go. Everyone's saved. Do um, I need to save even though I just got down on that? No, because you, you, you just got hit with the blast. Okay, no one's deafened. That's cool. Was um, it cool? And then what the color was the flame? Is going to run... 
all the way to the other side of the shore. What about you? Uh, those goblins are dead. Uh, these goblins are going to take their bows, uh, put them into the campfire, and make attacks against the barrels. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I'm going to roll uh, first for this one. Should Goblin Square uh, have an six icon is on it? going to not make it. How much down right now? The oh. second one, this one's going to explode. Oh. Did you ping no. something? Hello? Can I, can I please? Why am I not able to get that? That one's going to explode. Um, and then this one's going to explode. As um, as this one explodes, you can feel the ground under you starting to shake. These are powerful barrels. You just passed a thaumaturgy, guys. Don't worry about it. Why can I not? I don't know why I can't click on these stupid circles. Are you able to right click and pick the ping everyone thing? Okay. Let's imagine that's shortened down a little bit. Um, and then this goblin's going to run up uh, to this campfire, light his bow, and then uh, shoot this barrel down here. Why are there so many delete and replace barrels? I wonder why. It's a good question, know. as it's going to also explode. They're with money. We should try to save them. You 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 really start to feel with that barrel exploding, the ground, basically. Um, you guys feel, um. Uh, Corvo, um, Goblin Slayer. You guys all feel that the ground is shifting backwards, while you guys feel the ground shifting forwards. Oh, okay then, or sinkhole. I don't know. Um, as this Fish goblin is going to use its remaining 10 feet of movement to uh, go to the coast here. All right, up next is Goblin Slayer. Roll. Am I allowed to yell how something while I'm down? No, you're unconscious. Uh. He moans. Uh, Grug, let's see if you're up. Well, stabilized, rather. Yeah. Yeah, you're up. You're stabilized. Uh, you're no longer dying. Valerie, you're up. Wonderful. I am going to cast Firebolt on this barrel. Okay, go for it. Thankfully, I still have Bless. With a 13, it's going to hit. Well, I guess I didn't need it. In that case, uh, it's fire going to damage. Be... Uh, so the goblin boss and their constituents are going to be caught up in the blast. Go ahead and roll the damage. 2d10. Oh, hell yeah. 2d10, baby. It's going to be 10 and... damage. Uh, the Goblin boss is going to get caught up and killed in the blast. Um, I want him to be blown into pieces and launched. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Nah, maybe he has everywhere. some. Uh, no, maybe his skin is worth something. Come on, guys. Um, More importantly, oh, okay. Ear. One Goblin's going to die because this one's not in range. Is he wearing a crown this... of gold? Oh, and this one's going to take half damage. Or this one. Is. Well. As it's mad blast... unfortunate that my turret has a range of 120 meters. Because oh I'm about God. to blast that last one into pieces, baby. As the area engulfs around the barrels. Bow. And with that explosion, you're really rocking now. Uh, it, it, you feel the ground is being unsafe. Fuck it. We ball. Uh, 14, which one are you targeting, by the way? 
Uh, that first one that took half damage. Uh, this one? Yeah. Two, 14. Yeah, that hits. Let's go. How does the goblin die? Um, my turret with its expert precision crafted aim, whatever the fuck that means, gets a fucking shot right through the lungs and uh, chokes on his own blood and dies. Okay. Heals <laughs> over. Both lungs. Both lungs. Uh, up next is uh, Zram. Zrami who is Rami Das. No, that's my oh. guy. I'm gonna crimson right that asshole. Oh. Goblin Slayer is on the ground dying, by the way. Okay. So be it. <laughs> <laughs> um should we like heal him? Is that what, what you're implying? What's his, uh, save status at anyway. Uh yeah, one tail. Yeah. So on a one out of twenty, he will uh die. Well, I attack with oh. a one D twelve plus two. Uh, I'm going to roll an actual attack. I marked this man with a blood curse for nothing. Yep. I wonder I if anyone Tanner. here speaks Goblin. But... Fuck you, Tanner. I want to use my ability. Hey. No one else is in there. It's not our fault you didn't understand your kit, Jake. Well, anyway, Tanner could have uh, saved your ass, dude. I actually don't couldn't... know what to roll to do my first attack with this. I hope this guy dodges. Tanner, if you can't kill this skin, I'm gonna be impressed. No, no, it. I hope he fucking drops you. What Tanner. do I roll? Because um, Drake, aren't you his companion? Oh, you're making the claw attacks. Yeah, dude. This yes. Is... Um, I travel with the Zram because he's amusing. I am. You pray on his downfall. Yes. Uh, you make a, a roll. Maniac. Roll one d twenty. Plus two, plus two because of plus. So plus four. That is. 22 is going to hit. <laughs> Roll for uh, damage. 1d12 plus two? Is it also plus two with the plus or no? Nope. Okay. Just attacks. Nine damage. Does that kill it? No. He is limping away. That's fine, because I could immediately do another attack. Yeah, with it. there you go. Are you <laughs> Will not hit. <laughs> As it should. Are you fucking kidding me? My back! Oh, my back! It takes the fucking hit, and it dodges the second. Ah, oh, well, I'm here with 3 HP. Take me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Corvo, you're up. Alright. Fuck you, Tanner. Where's I run the past him. From Zephyr, by the way. Huh? 30 feet. Do I still I get the extra it. 30 seed from Zephyr, or is that only for one turn? That's I'll only pop for my after crimson your right. Turn. Okay. No, wrong one. Yeah, no, this one. Bonus action. My sword, my sword just starts fucking glowing. Yeah, there Radiant you go. Energy. And I jump forward, and I just fucking chop that ass in half. Specifically, his butt cheeks. Uh, ten <laughs> plus He's two blessed. is twelve. Oh, plus the bless. I gotta add the bless. It doesn't hit. It doesn't. Oh my god! You should aim for not the butt cheeks. That was only a one. Oh, is it a D four? Is it a plus two? I guess. Oh, it's a, it's D4. a D four. Well, plus two is fine. Anyway. Um, would it have it changed? It would have not changed anything for oh, Tanner, man. so. Uh, yeah, you miss with a <laughs> an 11. <laughs> as you, as you jump forward and miss him. <laughs> Bro, he stumbles no forward. <laughs> Alright, Don, you're up. Uh, well, because, uh, Drake attacked last, he gets to be targeted, right? I move... My spiritual weapon there, and I. Yeah, there you go. Oh no! Oh no, Drake! <laughs> the barrel! <laughs> it, oh, you guys, no. you guys, grab the barrel and it's gonna collapse the ground. We're fucking done. <laughs> Zran, this no, is a great just journey, Drake. brother. I'm trying to, I'm 
try to pick you up Galvin, the surveyor. Uh, hold on, hold on. This will uh, be a d20 plus your attack modifier. So, plus six. Ethan, so, like, can I, do I need to, like, use a check to understand what's, like, going on, like, in terms of the environment, the geography changing? You know that, like, the ground is unstable. Do I know, like, what the center of, like, the depression will be, like, the deepest point? It, like, it seems like it's creating this line. Um, there's this area that is being deformed as it, it seems like it's caving in okay okay so just that line i can deduce is going to cave in it, it seems like it yeah so i could climb the cliff and go around and get that loot okay yeah yeah i use uh <laughs> <laughs> all right i use that on him i attack with my spiritual uh, that's, weapon that's just damage oh nat 20 I'm You're going to tell him. How do you want to do it? Okay, like, imagine it's just, like, a floating club. Yep. You know, like, what? Oh, yeah, Looney Tunes. yeah, yeah, in Looney Tunes. So, where, like, you hit them, like, you know, their teeth, like, kind of piano out. Yeah. Like, does that. And it's, like, <laughs> accordions down. His head could accordions down. As you bash him in with a net 20, as you squish him into a pile of mush. Uh, and, uh, Galvin Bloss is dead. Uh, oh, yeah, this guy's dead. I make <laughs> okay. a, I make a movement to the cliff next to me. Uh, okay. Where his ram once was. Uh, um, and I end my turn. All the goblins are dead except for one. <laughs> be Tactical nuke so incoming! <laughs> so fucked to be hit. <laughs> oh god. He's gonna make oh. a short bull attack. Have you? have a fire bow uh I'm yes because he's right next to the campfire as the explosion uh drake make a deck saving throw would you <laughs> uh 10 does not make it goodbye sayonara <laughs> do i also make a deck saving throw or am i out of no range? you're out of range oh thank fuck fuck you drake as you take three points wow. of fire damage. That, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, and then the goblin is going to run off uh, off the cliff. Uh, off into... He <laughs> killed himself. I will now uh, describe... Hold on, did it use a dash? No, it did not use a dash because its action was to um, attack the barrel. I will now describe what happens. Uh, combat is now over since there are no more enemies. Oh, we can't we'll we'll get to uh, what he rolls in a minute. Huh? We can't hunt down the last goblin? He, he, goes, um, he goes up a cliff and he hides. Okay. Uh, well, everyone can't... Uh, 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 we'll hard, 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 hard. I will now describe what happens to the train. As the terrain. Oh. I was really confused for a second. I was really worried for a second. <laughs> As the train. The train comes out of nowhere. Was <laughs> uh, like, the train about to run on us? <laughs> the train the goblins comes around. We're in a train As on you, you bro. see the area deform. Um, all around into these boxes. Um, as the uh, feeling of your play of your uh, balance pretty much writes itself uh, writes itself backwards as you're back onto your back wheels. Um, the area deforms in on itself as um, these barrels seem to have uh, caused a cave-in that you have now felt. The river. Uh, now it pours into this depression as it starts to happen. Um, as the water from the lake starts to rush in, uh, rush in into the cavern, uh, taking away uh, the bodies right next to the water. 
Um, I will have uh, Corvo and Zram make a dexterity saving throw. And uh, Don Hikse. Dex. Misty stuff out of there. Uh, Are you can acrobatics use, and shit? Can I use Misty stuff as a reaction? I'm pretty sure. Is a saving throw different from a regular yes. like roll? So, sometimes you have a better boost to it. So I roll with I don't advantage. Think it matters. Even. Uh, it is a bonus action, so you don't have a reaction. Either way. Yep. And done. Uh, I don't think you have a dexterity bonus, so it's just be a dexterity save. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Roll a d100 for me, Don. I should have stayed with the cart. Oh, I should have stayed with the cart. Gosh. No <laughs> way. Oh, oh shit, really? So he doesn't have bless. He gave it to everyone else. I gave it to everyone else. Oh, you sure you want to you want to stay with the cart? <laughs> oh my god. I don't fall Sorry. in and just die, do I? As the uh, as the depression start to happen, you lose your footing. And you fall straight into the depression. I'm like depressed now. So. Um, you will take um, 30 feet of fall damage, so it's 1d4 every 10, I think. Okay, hold on, hold on. You said there yeah. was water pouring in. Is this like a Minecraft, you know, there's like a source no. block? <laughs> I can like clip some of the water. <laughs> no, no, that's so you're going to take punch. 6 bludgeoning damage as you plummet into the cavern below. Wait, so what do I roll? You don't roll anything. You, you lost your dexterity saving throw. Okay. And you rolled a 1 on a D100. As when you get down there, the, uh, the water will start to flow in. Um, make another dexterity saving throw to get to your feet before you drown. That sucks. He's grogging on my head. Okay, with a 15, you get to your feet as the water starts to fill up. Surprisingly, uh, my legs happening. don't shatter on impact. <laughs> um, you guys both save. Um, this will take a round of combat. Um, all this thing that is happening. Uh, Goblin Slayer, you can make your next roll. Uh, Valor, you can take an action. <laughs> oh, no. Valerie, you can take an action. She pulls out a pipe, um, starts smoking. Real quick. Yep. Do I have a grappling hook in my pack? Do you have an explorer's pack? Nope. Because it's a. Uh, well, no. Uh, this grappling hook was from the loot of like the first cave that we fought oh. in. Yeah, you would have that. Um, and because I got uh the pack, the adventurer's pack or whatever, I should have rope by default, right? A dungeoneer's pack, yes. You have fifty feet of rope. Sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie the, tie that, uh, rope to this tree. Okay. Mm. And considering that's an action, I'm gonna do that, and then walk after my action is done to the edge. Okay. You now see down into this cavern, and this cavern is about 50, uh, or um, like 20 feet across, and as the water is starting the to drain, is starting to... Echo. Oh, <laughs> oh, geez. Um, as you see the water pouring in uh, down into uh, this area, you see Dawn down there uh, as he gets to his uh, legs. As the water is starting to pour up uh, past his kneecaps. How does he look? He, he, he don't oh, look he's great. He's looking droopy. Do I, do I look suave? You yes. Look you look suave in that wet, dark area. Nice. Wet and dark, fuck you. <laughs> You're really not my type of person. Bless. Um, okay. Now, um, 
uh, everybody is dead, the goblin is now going to run further off screen and hide, and no one can see him because he hide pretty well. Um, it is now Goblin Slayer's turn. Goblin Hunter and Rain? Uh, well, we're not going to take Goblin Hunter's turn. Yeah, okay. Um, I already did my roll for the turn. Um, yep. I will give you the option to slap yourself awake. With lay on hands, of course. Sure, I'll do that. All right. HP uh, back to me. With your action, you slap yourself and you come back to life. Whoa. What was this? Do you only want one, or how much do you take? Uh, I'm taking twenty. Okay, cool. Valerie, I uh, it is yeah. now your turn. Um. Yeah, okay. I'm going to say combat is no. We're gonna we're gonna continue this because there's some stakes at play. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, our healers to death. I'm gonna I'm gonna instruct uh, the old man to uh, grab onto the rope. How long is the rope? Uh, it reaches down gonna... to the cavern. If I healed myself, would I be like... It's, it's like, how many down to the cavern? It's 30 feet down to the cavern. Okay. In that case, um, I should have uh, 10 feet left over at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell him to tie himself, and I will hoist him up. Uh, if I... If I did, like, preserve life on myself, would that, like... Uh take a long time mm, preserve life preserve life you present your holy symbol and evoke healing energy that can restore 20 oh. hp yeah that would be uh, an action i use so, preserve life on myself okay uh you use preserve life um how much energy you want to do um and then you can make your way over to valerie but it will take your next turn to um, hoist yourself up, or uh, to tie yourself. Hold on, I never said I was gonna go to the rope. Oh, okay. Is there, is this like a cavern, or is this just like a ravine with no way out? Um, it seems to be a created ravine. Yeah. Like, is there like a tr like a you know cave entrance that I you, can like go into? You cannot see anything. Is there diamonds down here? Am I at the Y level 12? No. He's in the okay. looking for miners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. I, I stand next to the rope getting ready to tie, hoist myself up. Okay. That will happen uh, next turn then. Uh, Corvid uh, and Zram. I will say um, Wes is gone. Oh, that one no longer black. Coward. Oh, Jesus. What, where'd he go? As you Goblin's see gone. the destruction happening around you. I'll check on the bull. You check on the rest. No one says, um, that just happened. Come on, guys. Amateur <laughs> hour. <laughs> Food, maybe? I don't actually yeah. know what I can do. Is there anything I can do to help? I'll you you can do a um, healing check. I'll do that. Where is that? Check. It is a medicine check. To uh, try to stabilize him. If you do that one, you just kill him. All right, fifteen. You are stabilized, Goblin. That so oh my god! Uh, so you are stabilized, but you are no not up yet. Let's see what happened if I had gotten past that. I would have died. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Uh, Corvo, you're up. I ran to see if it's to talk down, I guess, southwards. I'm next to Grogman. Yep. Is there anything I can do with him? He's not down, is he? No, he's no, up now. No, he no, slept no. himself awake. Okay. Fuck, is there anything I can even do in this situation? Uh, I don't know. He's up to the goblin. He has the blood trail. Are you going to climb down and help uh, me climb up? At this point in time, I'm going to stop the turn order because everyone's up and we're all good. And we'll so is, 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 is he climbing up? Uh, I'm he's getting next ready to, the rope. to climb up. Um, Preparing, but he, he's not in any immediate danger yet. Well, the water level is now uh, to your waist. 
gone. Well, I can swim, so I could just float to the top, theoretically. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? I can't? How much sure. armor and weapons do you have on you? I'm wearing leather, sure. and I'm a, well, I just have a mace. I've got rope, so I'm going to secure the back end to a tree, then drop the end down. Wait, where is Don? Don's in the cavern right now. No, I mean, we're on the map, like, um... Oh, here. There, okay. Yeah, I'll... I'll set up a rope to, like, this tree or something, and, and uh, uh, lower it down. These, these corpses have fallen into... Dude, we're gonna need to get those... ears, uh, we need to prove how we'll be killed. Oh, wait, hold on. Are the, are the goblins, like, super well-armored? Like, would they sink to the bottom on the water? Um... You don't know. I can't, like, see that they have a ton of crap on them or not. Uh, sure, you can. You see off in the fair distance uh, some goblin corpses at the tip of the water. Yeah, it's sinking. Cool. The water is now rushing in at a pretty fast rate. And it's tore, tore away a lot of the natural grounds that it was resting on. I tied the rope to myself, my waist. Uh, okay. Uh, yep, you can do that with your action. Now, is Valerie going to pull you up? No. <laughs> I will do my thing. My, my darndest. With all that strength that Valerie has? Hell yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm a strength character. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wrong. Um, pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars. Oh, Ethan, what do I roll? Uh, this would be a athletics check to pull Don up. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm good at those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll I'm sorry, everybody. Zero, brother. Oh my god. Seems like Alex is all funny, but. <laughs> Valerie. Max you rolls fall. and ones. Oh my god. As you go in to lean, uh, pull up, uh, Dawn grabs onto the rope and accidentally pulls you in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was not the time Make to Make a dexterity <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> Dex wow. saving throw. Yeah, Dex well, thank you. I have less. Nope, less is gone. Yeah, it's gone. But uh, you save it anyway, so you take four bludgeoning damage as you plummet into the uh, uh, water down below. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Make that a sandboard, bro. Um, nope. Make a dexterity saving throw to see if you right yourself. Bigger weapons, bigger weapons. All right, with a ten, yeah, you're you're able to right yourself. So you and Don are now in the water. Uh, the water is now rising to um, your midline. Hey, Valerie, I don't think I I didn't really intend for you to be in here with me. You're supposed to pull me up. Okay. Uh, do you have a do you have a Dungeoneer's pack? Quick. No priest pack. You know priest and all that. Do you have rope? I mean the the, the rope I put down is down there. Yeah. Is yeah. Uh, so on the other side of the chasm, a new piece of rope is down there. Would I have to untie myself to go there? <laughs> I take I'm an action. Untie yourself and grab uh grab the rope and attach it to the grappling hook. Uh, I thought it was like tied to a tree. Yeah, it's still tied up in the tree. Oh no, I I I was just asking if I I had the grappling. I didn't. Uh, I actually oh. just tied the rope to the tree. Oh, Not bad. okay. Um, yeah, you can tie the other end of the grappling hook to the uh, uh rope. Sure. Okay. Do I have any bonus actions or actions left over? 
your action would be tying your knot. So you'd have your bonus action. Yeah. I have my bonus action? Yeah. Where is my turret? It's up here. It's just chilling. Where's my super suit? Oh, actually, um, have your turret roll a dex saving throw, which I think is just a straight roll. Uh, your turret fell into the uh, cavern, too. Interesting. Nice. Um, <laughs> have it roll another one. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder if it dies. It explodes. <laughs> okay, it takes five damage as it plummets. Uh, and I don't think it has any buoyancy, so it is now in the water. Well, this is fine. Why it was there. Turret gets fucked. Can I stand on the turret? Uh, you don't know uh, where it is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Where it is because uh, she can intrinsically know its position. Um, that's interesting. I'm oh, gonna yeah, use. That's, that's the sound. Um, the cavern. Uh, as it got blown open and went. Anyway, continue. That sounded an awful like like a vine boom. What's vine? I miss vine. Sorry, for me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna instruct the turret to use its uh climb ability. Uh, after walking five feet, it has a total climb distance of fifteen. So I assume it still has 10 feet of climbing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to instruct it to climb 10 mm -hmm. feet. Okay, it is now 10 feet on the wall. Sick. I end my turn. Okay. Um, what, what do you do now, Don? Um, so okay, what, what does anybody else do? Yeah. He has Ram. Are you still chasing down the goblin? I was hoping I'd chase him. I just didn't realize the help. I'll come over and resuscitate him. Oh no, he's up. Also, no, I'm stabilized. Out. Oh, then yeah. I guess I'll. Yeah, I'll run over. Do you guys need help? I don't. I know. need healing. Actually, yeah, I, I would healing. know either way, so I'm just gonna run over. You have to take a vote first. What are you doing? You see Grug looking into a cavern. What into the, the cavern. Are they, are they both on the rope? They are not on the rope yet. Oh. You and guys are uh, now going to make that's... another dexterity saving throw as the water level has reached the uh reached your chest. Grab onto the rope, I'll pull you up. I'll nice. help. Nice. You both save. Um, I am you're able to right yourself and um uh, make your way to the wall. I uh I untie the rope that's currently the one that Alex made. Is that one action? Um, um, in that case, I will spend my action uh, throwing the grappling hook to the surface. You already have a rope down here, though. Yeah. What are you doing here, Alex? I, did I not just tie the uh, grappling hook to the rope? Uh, yeah, I guess you did. Wait, is it the same rope? No, it is Grug's rope. Okay, then I will throw it towards Grug oh. at the surface. Why? But, he didn't drop, like, the entire he, rope. No, it's like no, he, has, he, has, he has it tied to the tree, and it's down for you to, like, either yeah. get picked up or climb. Oh, wait, what? He has yeah, it tied yeah, to the yeah, tree. He, he said that. Part. Yeah. Just, just, just I thought he just dropped it. the bundle of rope, and I'm like, all right, sick. No, he, he tied it to a tree. Uh, he waited for you guys to grab on. He said grab on. Okay, say. well, now that, it's, now that it's tied and I have a good Oops, foothold, I bumped I'm just going to grab on and okay. put my foot on the bottom of the uh, grappling hook. Kind of just gonna like stand sure. on. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. And uh, hopefully, my companion, after spending his action, will do the same, so we can get pulled up together. All right, Don, what are you up to? I um. Oh, I'm keeping hold up right down by the way. What? What was I that? I said drug for some reason. No. Uh, 
I, Don Quixote, I, I observe Valerie Cummins do that, that thing, and I'm like, holy guac, I'm going to do that too. And I do the same action. All right, cool. There are two people now at the end of the rope. Grug, you oh, pull. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pull. I literally came check. over to help. Take a vote. Um, you can get on the other side of the rope, too. Okay, you guys are all... Okay, everybody do an athletics check. Then. Oh! As you try to hoist two... Kind of scrawny people up. 19, uh, nice. Well, if we're scrawny, should they do with oh, advantage? Uh, that's why it's weird athletics. Oh, that's not it. There it is. And that's oh. 20. Yeah! With some good, hearty muscle. You guys easily pull both of them up out of the ravine and up onto dry land as you I crest wheeze. over the hill the tears being rolled down their eyes oh no that's just water because they're soaking wet I just wheeze <laughs> <laughs> that just happened we're gonna need to get some goblins it's the, just wait for the water to rise we don't have to do anything are we floating? yeah uh, you can now see that the lake is like uh, three quarters drained, and the ravine is now about um, a third full of water. I, um, you know, I walk over to the Goblin Trail. Gotta check up on my buddy. Uh, he is um, lying on the ground, unconscious. I do some wizard stuff to him. Cure wounds. You hit him with that queer wounds. W no, that's a restoration. Queer wounds. What? It helps they, them. Yeah. Um, him. I just do something to help Jason up. You know, you already know. You already know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he hits you with a cure wound, so hit a 1d8 plus 6. Yeah, eleven health points as you rise from the grave. I dap him up. <laughs> uh, uh, what would we have to do for that? Is that a performance okay. check? <laughs> yeah, hit a performance check to see how. Oh. Oh no! Can you <sighs> save this performance? Uh, we just hit, did hit a performance. Uh, Goblin Slayer. Ah, it was not a good dab up. Ah. Uh, my hands were wet, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, wow. As the cavern still uh, starts filling with water. Hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Is is the stream, the, the lake, do we see fishies, like, fall into the ravine? Fishies. Uh, <laughs> you, you turn after that failed dab up and you look to the lake. Um... You, you see a few fish oh my fish. god yeah we're gonna need a fish <laughs> gonna bring you another fish um, at this point uh, say do, do people want to end the session here um, because it's finals week yeah I think so okay I, I thought I was gonna do a quicker one but uh, that went a lot 